Welcome everyone to another edition of Triton Football here on the Triton Trojan Sports Network. As many know throughout the Triton and neighboring communities that Cameron Fairchild tragically lost his life a week ago today. It's with heavy hearts we send our condolences to Cameron's family, friends, and to those whose lives Cameron touched. Today we get to see some young men take the field to do battle. We see them in their uniforms, helmets, and watch them give it all they've got for their brothers on the team, their coaches, their families, and their school. What we don't get to see during a high school game is who these young men are off the field. Reading and hearing stories about who Cameron was off the field is truly legendary. Always going out of his way to make someone feel special, caring for others, giving his best to give of himself for the betterment of others. It's something we all wish we could do and often take it for granted. Tomorrow is never guaranteed. The past is gone. The present is now. We need to live life to its fullest and love one another, even when we may disagree. In sports, you give it all your, you give it all, you give it your all on every play. For you never know when it's your last, and you never know what the outcome may be. Cameron set the example on how to give a full effort, whether it was on or off the field. The Triton community is truly special, and the Trojan Way was in full effect this week, which is a true testament to the memory of Cameron Fairchild. We would like to thank the cast and comments and their whole uh, staff over there for accommodating us during this rough time. And um, uh, we just like to thank them as they also have the Fairchild family in their thoughts. So as we said, we got Caston coming today for today's game. Both teams coming off of a loss in their first conference matchup of the season. As they both had tough opponents, Caston took on North Judson, who is in play to be in the top of the Northern Hoosier North Athletic Conference at the end of the season. And for Triton, who traveled to Ville, another very talented team, who also has a chance to be there kind of at the end after they lost to Pioneer last night. So, Caden, we look at what Triton's done in that LaVille game. We, you know, LaVille was a little depleted. We, can, we kind of knew that, unfortunately, coming into it. But at the same time, the defense really held their own. Yeah, props to the defense. They uh, allowed a very good LaVille team to only seven points last week. Um, and what's really stood out to me is the newcomers on this team. You know, they last week they were led in tackles by newcomers Riley Wood and Brayton Cunningham. And then, of course, uh, Josh the Claw Limler. Uh, but the defense forced a lot of errors against LaVille and uh, just couldn't make that one last stop during overtime, which is kind of the deciding factor there in that game. And, you know, for me, the offense is finding a way to move the ball. However, they got to really minimize those turnovers, I think, today, especially against a casting team who can, who, has a, who has a home run ability to score on any, any given play. I think the boys coming today, the, I think the passing game will be there for them. I think that's what needs to be on point. Those receivers have really got to look that ball in. Forget about running after the catch. Worry about getting that ball in your hands first. Uh, yeah, last week Cole Shively doubled his passing yards from week one. He's up around that 100-yard mark now for the season. But Anthony Shu had another 100-yard game last week. He has 261 yards on the year, and he just doesn't go down. You know, first contact, he's going to go right through you. It, it takes a gang tackle to bring down Anthony Shu, and that's something you really just can't teach. That's more, you know, driven. How can I get those extra yards that maybe we need a first down? Maybe it's a key play. How can I provide that for my team? And with that being said, with Anthony, you know, you sit there and you look at – I've deemed him beast quake because the guy runs through. He stiff arms everybody, runs through. But that offensive line is doing a good job really manipulating, opening gaps for him to get through, and that next level – and then that next level blocking has really helped out a lot too. Yeah, it all starts with the guys up front. You know, nothing can happen if those linemen don't block. And I think that the guys are really starting to find their rhythm up front. They are making those key blocks. And they did a nice job against that strong LaVille front seven. So I'd uh, be looking for more of that against Caston this week. And we look at Caston. Like we said just a minute ago, they have that home run ability, you know, plus speed. I mean, you sit there and you watch, especially like you saw the West Central game, but then against a tougher opponent like North Judson, we saw Sam Smith just take off and go, and he split defenders and took off for 80 yards or for like 50, 60 yards. Uh, I mean, these guys can hit the home run, and Grant Hickle at the quarterback spot can really do some great things as well. Yeah, as a team, uh, this team's putting up about uh, 300 rushing yards per game. I mean, that's all they do. They've only thrown the ball five times this year, um, and they've proved they can score. You know, 52 points against West Central, and Sam Smith, Grant Hickle, those are going to be your two guys. If it's not going to them, I, I bet Triton's going to be surprised. And this is not the casting team of old. I mean, I mean, Will Porter has done an outstanding job with this group. They've really transcended the last couple of years to see what they are now. I mean, last year they really held Triton to two – Triton only won that game by two points. I mean, Caston owned that game the entire way through. Triton had to find a way to pull out there at the end. But then you look as far as this season, you know, that first half against North Judson, watching tape again last night, they really held their own. And this is a team you cannot underestimate. Yeah, they were right there. I, that 3-4 front, they almost played like a 4-4 because they have that safety crashing down, kind of like uh, Jack Kaiser's doing at Notre Dame yep. uh, tomorrow night uh, against Florida State. That'll be a good one. But, uh <laughs> Um, yeah, 4-4 defense. Uh, that first half, 
Judson didn't look like they were prepared. They didn't look like they were ta- taking casting seriously. And I think if the Trojans do that today, we could be in a very uh, similar ball game as it was last year. And I can't. I don't think you want to let this one get too far out of hands. And, and you know, and you sit there and like cast. And one thing for me, as far as the one thing where they kind of struggle, I mean, the, which is one of the very few places to do it, is in is in coverage. I mean, you saw North Judson kind of get out there and really kind of get get separation on their – it seems like they let the receivers get behind them just a little too much. That might be early in the season, just kind of get figured out, face a lot of running offenses, not a ton of pass offenses. Um, but Cinder, look, Cass, and there's not a lot of holes there. Yeah, uh, you're talking about the pass defense there. That's because everybody – I mean, everybody who I talk to knows this is what Judson's going to do. They're going to run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. The second Judson kind of – spread out and started throwing the ball, everybody was like, hold on, what are we supposed to do now? We didn't, yep. we weren't prepared for this. And I think that's what Triton needs to come out doing today. You know, they haven't really thrown the ball much this year. And when they have, they've had some bright spots, had some down spots here, a couple interceptions here and there. But um, I think the passing game is really going to be the difference in this one. And Cole Shively has really taken a big step forward going back to Triton again. I mean, he's really now starting to really going to – up and out with that football and really step into his throws. And you, you see him to put some dip, uh, some some zip on the football there. But at the same time, he's pretty accurate where he's putting the ball. It's just the receivers got to they got to get on the same page. And I think once they get there, this team's going to be pretty good moving the ball on offense. Uh, yeah, this, this is the first um, game this year that the Trojans are actually favored, uh, 28-14 according to John Harrell. But, you know, having said that, Triton – as community comes into this game with heavy hearts uh, due to the loss of Cameron Fairchild, and our thoughts are with his family and friends this uh, this afternoon. So, so it's good to have Caden back. But that's it for our pregame segment. We'll be back right after the game kicks off as both teams are in search for their first conference victory of the season: Trojans versus Comets. Coming up next here, right on the Triton Trojans Sports Network.
Good afternoon, welcome to Triton High School. This time the Triton School Corporation is a proud partner of the Kosciuszko Community Hospital. During each home varsity football game this year, the Triton Athletic Department is recognizing a KCH Fan of the Week. The Fan of the Week is part of each game's theme. Tonight, the Trojans want to thank military personnel. If you are active or retired military, please stand and be recognized. The KCH Fan of the Week is an individual who makes a difference in the Triton community. This week's fan is at the Junior Senior High Weekly working with our students. Let's give a warm welcome to Sergeant Dobson. Thank you for everything you do for our Triton community.
Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, if you would please stand, face the flag in our north end zone, as we will honor America with the playing of our national anthem. staff and student body of Triton Junior Senior High School, we welcome Caston as our guest at today's game. Triton Junior Senior High School and Caston are playing this event through an agreement entered into by both schools. As members of the IHSAA, both schools have agreed to abide by the bylaws of the IHSAA to ensure the highest possible standards of conduct during this event today. Our officials for today's game are Robert Bryant, Anthony D. Haven, Jeffrey Farrell, Jeffrey Pavey, and Trent Toko. We ask that all fans and players demonstrate an attitude of good sportsmanship throughout today's game, no matter what personal feelings of loyalty you may have toward one team or the other. Disruption of this or any athletic contest will be grounds for removal and the possible exclusion from attending future events. Your cooperation is appreciated. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before today's varsity football game, the Triton Athletic Department is asking for 57 seconds of silence. This is in remembrance of senior football player Cameron Fairchild, who tragically passed away last Saturday. The number 57 in each end zone is in honor of him. We ask that during this time we have complete silence as we remember Cameron and his classmates will re be releasing balloons. Thank you.
I welcome everyone here to Triton High School as the Trojans and Commons get ready to take off. You heard Kate and I talk in the, in the pregame there. Trenton, we got you now in, in here for this one, buddy. What kind of things did you see from film this week that you think we're going to see here out here this afternoon? Well, look for Kasten to really run it heavy to their quarterback and to their uh, to their fullback and try to get to the outside on their veer plays and got to dominate up front. It all starts there. And we talked in the pregame. This team, this team that can hit the home run ball on any given play. I mean, they, they can go over the full the quick scoring. They, they, we know they're capable of doing it. The thing for trying up front is the linebackers are really going to have to wrap these guys up because you can't let them get too far away because Judson has really struggled with that last week. Yeah, group tackling is definitely going to be a big part of it, just like the past couple of weeks trying to tackle LaVille last week. So uh, you got a group tackle, gang to the football. We really saw him do that really well against LaVille as far as, like you said, the gang tackling. I think that's going to be a big thing here today, especially, look, like Caden always says, you don't always have to be the hammer, but by golly, you can sit there and hold on to the nail when someone comes in to swing away. So, And don't worry, it's not like Dad's been trying to roof and he's trying to sit there and teach you a lesson. Just right. go hold the nail, let someone, come, come on, let someone else can swing the hammer. So we sit up there, Caden, we talked pregame. What kind of things, if you're out there in your coach, you know, what things are your offense going to – things you think you'd like to see today? Well, offensively, I think you've got to be able to run the ball against uh, this – Strong defensive front that Kasten has. That is the strength of this defense is that front seven and really that front nine. I mean, they put everybody in that box if they can. And so if Triton can run the ball with Anthony Shue, and we saw Trey Shue out there warming up. So hopefully uh, for the Trojans' sake, they have him for this game. It'll be his first game of the year. If so, just feed those two guys. I mean, why go away from what's been working offensively and then hopefully put up more points than last week against LaVille. And the one thing for me, Trine's, <laughs> Trine's offensive line, you know, I think what what you saw in that game, these guys can dictate that it's going to be a control. Yeah. And they really started to grow a little bit more last week. I think this week they've got to put it all together. Yeah, it's a four-quarter game, and it all starts. you got to get a good start. You know, don't dig yourself in a hole that you can't get out of late in the game when you're scrambling and have nowhere else to go. So you got to start early, too. You, right. can't, you can't get down early and expect to climb your way out of a hole. you gotta got to be right from the jump. you got to have energy, and you gotta got to stop them. And they really got to control those penalties. 135 yards they've given up this season as far as on 19 penalties. And there were penalties that hurt them, and we saw that last week really hurt them. Got to, got to hold on to that football, and really ball control is going to be huge today. Absolutely. So we got a nice win coming from the – South end zone, so. Hey, well, you guys go, know, how north to, be okay. know how to act. We're not sweating and carrying on. And <laughs> oh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know yet. I feel a little more comfortable for once. This is, uh, a I, I kind of like it. I've been an AC all year, so <laughs> I don't oh, have hey, a problem well, with it. Yeah. <laughs> so Sam Smith and Josh Sullivan back deep for the comments to return. Cole Shively, quarterback, is going to send it away. He has done a great job kicking the football this season on his kickoffs, averaging. In the first game at 86 yards, the longest one 35. But he gets the ball down there, but they, these guys have really covered well. Dante Workman's one that really just stands yeah. out to me on the kickoff team. Does a great job getting down there, getting through the – the. Uh, yeah, he's little, but he's fast. He can get through that line of defense pretty easily. I mean, Cole's going to be kicking with the wind at his back here, so – Guess that'll help him. Haven't had a touchback yet, and that'll I think we're going to get our first one. one. Yeah, how about that? And Cole Shively showing off that leg. He's got an arm, too, but, hey, <laughs> kid, kid's got it all put together. So, Kasson will come on, on the field now, start from their own 20-yard line as where quarterback Grant Hickel will lead his offense out, and he does a real good job really disguising what these guys like to do. Yep. Look for a big uh, game out of our defensive line, though, with Josh Lemler and Cam and Evan Bryles had an amazing game last week. So, look for big things coming out of, off of our line. Biggest thing here, you have to be able to watch the ball because they're going to do a lot of things to try to trick you, throw you off your game, watch the guards, see yep. where they're going. The guards going to lead you right to the ball. Yep, so absolutely. First and ten, Hickles under center, going to send Smith and motion, going to go right oh, up and oh, on a fumble, and Triton's got a chance to recover in their we own in red zone. Triton takes over. Fumble on the first play of the game. That's exactly what Triton needed. A little bit of luck there. Just a bad handoff exchange. Yeah, well, Landon Lemler comes up with it at the bottom of the pile. We're gonna, I'm not sure if it's really working very great. Nope. Nope. <laughs> We'll give, yep. we'll, give we'll, we'll get the bugs worked out here. We're doing good. So not bad guys right there. You saw you saw some heads up play. You saw the little bit of mistake there by Cass, and that's not going to happen every time. But Trine's defense, their awareness is there. We're going to have Ethan Howell here on the left tackle spot as Lindler goes to snap it for the Trojans. Sweet play on over to Shue as he cuts up field, and he'll rumble forward. And Mike got a yard or two on the play there. Got to be able to capitalize 
off that cast of misfortune here. I mean, with the wind at Cole's back, you might be in field goal range already, but you don't want to try to settle for three on this. Yeah, good field uh, possession. Need to get in the end zone. Exactly. So they line up here second and seven after that three-yard carry by Anthony Shu, who's just been a workhorse these first few games of the season. 130 yards per game coming into this one. And he was their entire offense against Laville last week. Going to go the shovel pass to Tyler Amson. He's in the cut of field. Amson's got free. Amson's got paid her. Triton strikes first. 20 yards out. Two plays and a touchdown. That's the way you want to start the game right there. So we saw there with the downfield blocking, but then we saw Tyler Amson really show off that strength and really – Get away from the defender and just use that quick speed he's got to go all the way in. And it took um, – it's going to take See some it. gang tackles here. Nope, it ain't going to work. As our replay is struggling Please. a little bit there. So Triton capitalizing on the turnover and putting points on the board early, which is something we talked about in the pregame. Shively lines it up. Dominic Smith the hold. Snaps down, holds good. Kick is up and on the way, but he splits the uprights, and he does. I think that one might have landed in the concession stand. <laughs> I, I lost track of it there. So Triton leads 7-0, starting off here in the early goings of the first quarter. And I think... Let's see if we can get this to... Nope, for some reason our replay is all messed up tonight. Well, that's never good. No. <laughs> <laughs> And that's how you want to start the game, as I said. Two plays and a touchdown and a turnover. That's that's how you want to start. But, you know, when you watch the defense there, the, the awareness, they know where that football is, and they did a real good job. Those linebackers really bailed, really did a good job supporting that defensive line, getting there and getting a hold of that football. Yeah, you know, it's a tough break for Casson, but like I said, they're not going to make too many mistakes. Yeah. So, good thing we capitalized off of it. Yep. <laughs> now, how is Casson going to come back? After that fumble, what are they going to do differently? Already find themselves in a hole here, 7 nothing, 45 seconds into the game. Now, this was a team that looked really good against that first half against Judson. They really they, they held Justin, Judson accountable, and Judson's going to be as one of two, only the only two teams with an undefeated record in the Hoosier North Athletic Conference. So, Cass and very mentally tough team. They're a bunch of tough dudes. And I think we're going to have our second touchback. Nice. That one cleared the end zone. <laughs> Mercy <laughs> sakes, Cole Shively. <laughs> with the boot. It's 11-15 here in the early goals of the first quarter. Andy O'Hare alongside Caden Atkins, Kenny Barnhart, Trenton Crafton, and as always, the Hall of Famer Ryan Lim. They're here for the Triton Trojan Sports Network. Caden's actually with us for once. I know. We don't have to just say his name. He's yeah. right here. The girls unfortunately lost to Culver Academies, but let's sit, point that out. Toss outside. Pickle's going to be the runner, and he's going to cut back outfield and kick it off as – Landon Schaefer was the quarterback. I'm bring up second down here. Second and eight coming. Defenses. And this defense is really just blasting as far as that South Central game. They started getting comments in last week against Bremen. You saw Riley Wood and Cunningham, those guys doing their job. Limler, Amson, and Smith. You, and you see the corners doing a good job. Cole Scheibe did a great job in coverage in that lot. Run up the middle, and Triton wraps him up as the Schaefer on the carry. Now we're up third down. Cameron. With Hickel, Shane Law, Barton, and, Duke, and Gerhardt out there along the line. They're going to put it right Nothing to there. Smith, and he ain't going to go anywhere. Well, on first contact, I saw some Trojans trying to rip at that ball right away. I, they saw a fumble on the first drive. They're trying to get another one real quick here. I think Riley Wood's the culprit on the tackle on that one. And Riley Woods done a great job in that inside He's linebacker spot. I think this year has really just came on. Absolutely. He feels like a leader out there. He's always trying to tell people what to do, get them in their correct position. And Evan Bryles is – man, were you impressed by him last game? I'll, I'll tell you what, man. Evan Bryles has really grown on me. I'm sitting there, you know, he's got that size, but he's figured out how to use his body he's, with all that length. And he's, he's starting to figure out his good. speed. And he's getting confidence in his strength and his ability. That's really shown off here in the first couple games. Pickle under center, quarterback's going to keep it. He'll come near side, and right there, Evan Bryles at the yep. bottom of the pile. Trips him up. Good job by Trojans not to be confused by all that motion and the fake handoff. They just followed the guard and got Hickle. You know, and Bryles right there held the nail to let the hammers come in and take care of the business. That's what you got to do sometimes. <laughs> right, Caden? You know, I was just talking to Coach <laughs> Brown about that, actually, down here before the game. <laughs> so what you're saying is... It came, the, the term cast came from him. He told me that he tells more people that story about me than I would like to know. 
Hickle back under center. Takes a snap. Looking to pass here. He's got a man here on the near side. And his knees were down when he caught yeah. it. That's going to be a gain of maybe Eight, two. two. Yeah. Three. I don't Grant think he quite got to the 40 there either. Aiden on the catch there. Only the sixth pass attempt this year for the Comets. <laughs> and a short one if that. Now I think fourth and four, I think the punt unit might be coming in here. Which is going to send Shu and Workman back to return. Workman, one return for 22 yards. We saw that last week. The kid can, or excuse me, against South Central. This kid can burn. Yeah. And, of course, we all know what Anthony Shu can do. And double returners could be deadly. That. That's how you get, you know, reverse handoffs done and all oh, sorts oh, of fun oh, stuff. Oh, D'Angelo Holland almost gets there. Short kick. It's going to stop around the 35-yard line, take a little roll, and stop dead there at the 33 is where Cole Shively will bring back out D'Angelo Holland, his first game back. He got in there pretty good and got a good separation off that one corner. Yeah, was, for first full possession, I thought Triton played it very well defensively. Uh, they were able to read all their keys. They weren't fooled by anything. And even on the pass, if – the player didn't catch it on his knees. I don't think he was getting the first down. And you saw, like I said, the gang tackling has just taken off here in the last one. I mean, last week against LaVille really yeah. showed that off. So first and 10 from their own 33-yard line as Shively goes to work out of the shotgun. Shoe on his right hip. Takes the snap, pitches out to Anthony Shoe. Shoe kicks upside. Nice blocking from Tyler Amson. Cuts up field, and Shoe's going to have a nice gain. Oh, I think it might be a first down, and it looks good from here. Man, this offensive line gets a push, don't they? They're pushing their people back one or two yards every game. You know, that's something we talked about earlier. It all starts up front, and, I mean, Anthony Shoe, it takes more than one person to bring that young man down. I mean, it, it, it takes a group. <laughs> it's, his running ability is just wild, I tell you. Probably one of the nicest, best number 22s I've seen play <laughs> running back. Right, Trenton? <laughs> oh, my. Uh, well, I mean, that could be part of the reason I got switched to line. <laughs> you know? Jab start now. Shively goes right back to Shoe. Cut, does for field. And a nice Shoe with a nice move. Stiff arm. Beast quakes on his way. Anthony Shoe stops. Kicks back inside. He'll roll forward. Still on his feet. Anthony, Anthony Shoe looking for pay dirt. And he'll get He's the touchdown. Trayton punches it in. Anthony Shue, Beast Quake 2.0 happens again. 57-yard touchdown. And right there, you saw the blocking hole, but you saw that awesome running ability of Anthony Shue. He had a guy come out on him, and he said, I don't think so, and he sh shoves him to the ground. That's wow. stiff arm. Stiff arm straight into the, into oh, the guys, I've got goosebumps. Look at me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> that must, must be contagious. Wow. Beast Quake took off. What a run. Shively to kick again for the extra point. Smith to hold. Snaps down a little high. Shively gets it off. Good again. And it looks good from here. And Triton takes a 14-point lead here. Let's see if it kind of. Oh, it's kind of. It's got, kind of, got some pieces, but watch him here. The big thing for me is that stiff arm. Boom, I don't think so. That's yeah. just something you can't teach. Yeah. That's his instincts right there and the confidence to go out there and do that. And how about the balance to stay on his feet that whole entire time? How did he not fall? You know, Four times I thought he was down. <laughs> Goodness. Did you take your blood pressure medicine today? No, I, I, didn't, I, I, didn't, well, I didn't. I didn't. Just stay away from the pop over here. We don't need you anymore fired up. <laughs> he should have taught. He should have been when I was in school. He should have taught see me how to stay up. Let's see if it might work. Yep. Might get just a still stops. The blocking, the but, but look at the blocking again. right there. Look at the stiff mm. arm. Then he just kind of cuts up field, stays on his feet. Look at the block frame down by field. frame here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Touchdown <Touched> down <laughs> field by Trey Shue. <laughs> Older brother said, "Here, get in the end zone for me, will you? I haven't played these last two games." Here, here, just follow, just follow, just follow the diesel in. I'll lead the way. Yeah, not exactly sure what's going on. We haven't really changed much, but something no. must have got updated. Man, that was a. We'll figure it out at halftime or in between quarters. We'll figure it out. So Shively to kick again back to return is going to be Smith and Sullivan. Shively's had two touchbacks. Who wants to make it a third? I hear three. <laughs> and that one's going That's to go over the head. There's three. Yep. And that one just almost clears the end zone again. <laughs> <laughs> that ball looks like it's going to die about at the 10-yard line. Just and keeps just going and going. <laughs> that, that nice wind coming from that south end zone <laughs> helps just a, just a touch. Once we have to start kicking the other way, <laughs> look out. It's going to be 30-yard 
kicks, squib kicks on the ground whole time. No, what was that? Can't, you can blame the wind today, Trenton. Yeah, I actually <laughs> you, you, can, right? You, you can blame it today. <laughs> so Limler, Bryles, McLean, Middaw, and Cam Shively along the line. Out there was Smith, Limler, Wood, and Tyler Ames and the linebackers. Shively, Cunningham, and Amari Snyder, the defensive backs out there for Triton. Levi Martin out here wide against Cole Shively, one-on-one. -on -one. Goes up to Smith. Sam Smith gets a couple yards there on the carry. Riley Wood filling the, filling the hole pretty well, taking on a lead blocker and stopping that hole right in its tracks, even though he got, well, put to the ground, but still. <laughs> and Trey Shue coming in now to play along the line. Here we go, here we go. That's well, someone who can definitely wreak havoc up there. Well, I heard the diesel warming up just a little before <laughs> it went out there on the, on the field there. Hickle comes back under center, second and five there for him on their own 25. Man in motion. Going to give it right to Smith. Toss right yep. up the middle there. And Cunningham in there on the tackle wraps him up. Nice job by him to wrap him up and hang on tight because that play right there is where we saw him really break out and take off, especially against West Central. That play just really wreaked havoc on the Trojans down there. Yeah, and it was just a, just a game of patient there, patience there for Sam Smith. Hickle faked the outside toss and – Smith right there just to go right up the gut. And when they give them, when they're patient and give the guards time to pull, there's holes that open up pretty well. So first and ten now as the Comets move the chains. Second first down on the afternoon for him. Smith and, or excuse me, <coughs> Schaefer in motion. And first. Smith gets a nice push there. Smith, another guy who doesn't go down first contact. And it's going to take a group effort to bring that young man down. Tucker Worsham checking in now. Josh Limmer gets a break. And Worsham had that great game when he had to fill in for uh, Cam the first week. He played yeah. amazing on the offensive line. You know, and Tucker, 6'2", 285 as a sophomore, and he's a strong dude. Yes. I've noticed the defensive line has been interchanging quite a bit early in this one, trying to keep their guys fresh. And oh, Hickle's free. Man. Hickle takes off. Cole Scheib is the only guy he's there, and Hickle is going to hit pay dirt. From his own 38-yard line. Big playability. We talked about that. I mean, <laughs> you just got to read your keys there. And I mean, sometimes you just got to hope you guess right, and I think the Trojans just guessed yeah. wrong there. Looked like uh, just shot the wrong gap, it looked like. Yeah. Sixty-two yard touchdown run. Very good. Look at that. It took me messy. That's why I got you guys. So you guys are possible. I can do that math just for a little bit. <laughs> We're getting better. The flashcards are working. It just it just takes a little bit. Got to buffer a little bit until we get it right. So, so now on to kick it. It'll be Josh Sullivan. It's Hickle to hold. Oh, we need another guy out there for Caston. <laughs> I think that was me when I was a freshman. I was supposed <laughs> to go out for kickoff. I got in trouble because of <laughs> not sure well, what's going. We get a timeout. So Castle will take a timeout. Let's see, if we got a little time. Let's see if we can get this replay. It's a strong. Work. And it's going to be tricky. Nope. Wonder why that is. I don't know. Pickle oh, usually it works just fine. Yeah. Pickle yeah. takes off. Cole Scheib is the only guy he's oh, there, yeah. and Pickle yeah, is going to hit pay dirt through everybody from his own 38 yard to the house. You know that hole really opened up the line. But like I said, gotta watch your keys right there because this kind of just opened. I mean, Casson's line does a great job, really moving around the the line of scrimmage and doing a good job opening up gaps for their runners as well. I mean, that's why they're so successful. Yeah, that's why they put up 52 points week one against West Central. They know how to move the ball. They can score at any given moment. And Triton, you know. They can't relax out there on defense just because you got a little 14 point cushion. Because just like that, yeah. it's eight as the, at the moment. It's crazy how far Caston's come just yeah, from a couple years ago. They're they're really building the program up over there. They don't quite have the numbers, but the skill is starting to come along. And you know that's a testament to Will Porter and this coaching staff. I mean, last season we saw this team just go on a different level. And unfortunately, they had a couple of years where they were trying to get things kind of figured out and back and kind of get their gears about them. But that last season, I mean, that was a good team and. Mm -hmm. We see those guys out here now, and this team has just really taken off. Yeah, the last time it's right. Going for, two. going for two here for the Comets. So they change your mind as Hickle goes back under center. Will Porter must have saw something he liked. Hickle takes the snap, pitches out to Smith. Smith has got some space. He'll try to lean forward, and can the Trojans stop him? Nope. And they, they oh, they got just in. I didn't think he was going to get there. 
and That's cast and converts. That yeah. extra lunge there. <laughs> yeah, he, can't stop till that whistle blows, and that's what Sam Smith showed right there. And we're back to a one-score ball game. I wonder if he's a good singer. Sam Smith, gotcha, <laughs> good one. Yeah. Hey, come on, someone was gonna make the joke by the end of the so, day. So, so, right? so. I thought about it during basketball season <laughs> last year when he was playing basketball against the Trojans. <laughs> so Triton will get to return the ball for the first time this afternoon. Casson will be kicking into the wind too. Watch for that. Watch for something on the ground. Maybe even an onside kick. Maybe even an onside <laughs> kick. He, hey, he's he's never too early for got an onside the momentum. kick. Nope. I mean, when we saw last year when we opened against South Central, they right off the bat they kicked an onside kick. So, but for that, those those guys in that next level have got to be ready, though. I think it's where you, especially that wind coming to your back. You've you've got to be ready. Plus, I don't think you want to kick it to Anthony Shu and Dante Workman anyway. <laughs> so we see on the near sideline here that. Pierce Brookins working with these snaps with quarterback Cole Shively. Might be a change at center. Like you said, they can interchange a lot along that line. It's very impressive. Amson kind of that next spot with Mari Snyder on the crossway, those four guys there in the back with Workman and shoot back deep. If I'm Tyler Amson and Amari Snyder and Riley Wood on the far side there, I'd be waiting. I'd be ready. Cole, shot, uh, Cole Irvine. Cole Irvine, excuse me. I saw the sleeve, and it's usually Amari that wears the sleeve. Also out there, too, is Corey Hill here on the near side. Corey Hill. There's a name for you. Sam Smith gets ready to kick off. <laughs> It's a line drive kick, and I think we're going to get our first penalty of the football game. Casting offsides there. I guess false start, I suppose. A legal shift. Legal oh, procedure I don't know what you call that. Legal procedure. Legal procedure. Just listen to the legend, Don Bell. He's got <laughs> it under control. <laughs> I usually try to be patient to wait to see what Don says so I don't mess it up completely. <laughs> I normally try and guess and then mess it up completely. Oh, hey. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. Well, hey, you know, that, that was my math the last couple of years. So, <laughs> so the lineup to kick here, we kind of saw in a lot of the film with what we saw. You know, you see a lot of line drive kicks, see a lot of low kicks. And that We're casting. What, that's what they're attempting to do there. Yep. Roller on the ground and hope Triton makes a mistake. Yeah. Smith to kick again. Another line drive kick. And Riley Wood tracks it down. He'll pick he it up. He picks it up. He'll carry that football, and Riley Wood hangs on to it. About, about the same spot he would have been if uh, he fell on it. They so. kind of try to put it in that awkward spot between the second and third level yeah. where you don't know who's going to try to pick it up. You see, I, I'd be that guy that falling because I'd be afraid to pick up and start falling, tripping on my feet, and I'd lose the football. <laughs> Were you Again. ever on kick return Another team? Hey, drive hey, kick. Hey, there, we got hey, it back. We might Riley Wood it tracks it down. He'll pick he it up. It up. Yeah, well, He'll carry that football, line, and Riley Wood. tell you, you could be hangs like on right to in it. front of the kicker, and you're yeah, thinking yeah, onside yeah. kicks coming at you every time. <laughs> <laughs> I think we finally got it working. A little bit of anxiety there is what you're saying? Yeah, it was a lot of fun, though. They could be. <laughs> Shoe the fullback in the backfield as Shively goes right to the diesel, and the diesel rumbles forward. The Feed diesel, the and there goes Shoe. First down, his first carry of the football season. And it's a good one. Backfield as Shively goes right to the diesel, and the diesel rumbles forward. The diesel rumbles forward. One, two, three, four guys to bring him down. I believe first down, his first carry of the football first season. First down of the ball game. Because they had that they've they scored had touchdown on. on the. I think they've had another one. Uh oh, did uh -oh. they? I have no idea. I, I think oh. it's the first. I'm, I'm, to me, I think it's second because they had the long touchdown run and they had the jet pass with Amsden in the first quarter. Well, I thought Shoe converted one. He might have. Oh, we got. Well, hey, we'll find out. One or two. <laughs> it's okay. And trace Shoe again. Trace Shoe to the 45 yard line. Pick up about two, two yards there. Second, second down and eight. From the Casson 45 yard line. Here in the three minute mark here of the first quarter. I'd say try and run it to the outside here to Anthony Shue on a toss play. Let him get some room to run. That's what's been working so yeah. far. I mean, the outside jet stuff. Absolutely. Or Tyler Amsden on a counter. You go, Amsden, there's the counter you just asked for. And then oh. Casson sniffs it out in a hurry. Uh, uh, Eunice, listen to me. That was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I think there was a missed block up front. Yeah, Hickle in there initially on the tackle. 
Like I said, run it up the middle. I don't yeah. know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yep, just a missed block. I wasn't quite sure who it was, but uh, just let that defensive lineman run right through there and blow the play up. Third and nine now. Triton's first third down they faced in today's game. Interested to see if we pass here or not. First pass attempt. Play action it fake. It is, but can Cole Trent, get you need away. to stop talking. Oh, man, I got a <laughs> man. And that'll be the first oh. sack of the football game. Oh. Garrison Hickel. <clears throat> like Kane I said, Chainlaw run, been on the tackle. The ball. I think some Trojan faithful are looking for a horse collar on that one. John will be sacked back at the 31 yard line. Down. Everybody wanted a horse collar tackle yeah. on that one. This is too far away for me to see if he had grab hold of just the jersey or if he had the shoulder pads. Yeah, Shied, I couldn't tell either. Shyly to kick Hickle back deep to return for Caston. Good blocking. High kick. Whoa. Oh, come on, win now. That one takes a Triton bounce, and it'll fall inside the 30-yard line. About the 27 looks like was where they'll set up shop. It looked like it was going to be a lot worse than that, <laughs> how high it was, but got a good bounce. That wind really picked up there towards yeah. the end, too. You saw the last drive, 62-yard touchdown for Kasten. Look for them to be aggressive here on this one, too. Yeah, I imagine they're just going to keep doing what they're doing, you know, just keep running the ball, running the ball. Eventually, there's going to be a hole. Yeah, don't get away from what you're good at. That's right. The clock at 12 going here. Hmm, first quarter is almost done here in the books. It's been exciting. It's been a fun first quarter. Yeah, yeah. that's been eventful. Three touchdowns in that and a first quarter. Yeah. Hickle and back under center. He bunched up there. Schaefer in motion. Going to go to Smith and goes right up the middle. A few yards on the play. Hey, it don't matter as long as you're going forward. Yeah, three, four yards of play, and yeah. you'll be just fine. Casting kind of reminds me of the old Culver team that used to just bully people up the middle nowadays. But, I mean, they don't have the a big as big of backs as Culver did and don't quite run the fo same formation, but they're nasty up front like Culver was. They got yeah. some serious guys up there, 6'4", 265 in Hickel, and 6'5", 205 in Shalom. There's some height, and there's yeah. some boys. I mean, yeah, the height and the weight yeah. don't look there, but they're big boys. Yeah. D'Angelo Holland checked in there to play outside linebacker, I think, for Dominic Smith. Fumble, oh, fumble, I think Triton might have fell on it. Yes, yes. By Tyler Ramsen and Tyler Ramson gets in there and takes it away. Triton forcing their second fumble of the first quarter. Watch right here at the very end, that ball yeah, pops Angelo out. Holland. I don't know, Kenny spoke too outside soon. Outside linebacker, I think for Dominic yeah, might catch Smith. It here. Yeah, just jumping. Fumble, oh, I think Triton might have fell on it. I even kind of came up with that one. Hmm. They were still fighting for when they're down on the ground. So for casting two first quarter fumbles, they got to slow down and really they're regroup hurting. for a second. They're hurting themselves because they're giving us such a good field position. And with 29 and a half seconds to go here in this first quarter, I think you need to try to find Pedro because you're going to go right back and facing the wind here on your next drive. Or I guess the next quarter. Shavi back under center. Oh, that looks like a broken, broken play, play to me. And Hickel comes back for another for another sack. How good is Hickel, though, right? reading that play perfectly and understanding that, well, I think that's a broke play, and he comes up and Shively. makes the tackle on Shively, knows he doesn't have any other assignment other than Shively. And he really shows off that strength and that speed. When he gets through there, he's just a guy that can take off and get right through, and he, he'll wrap you up. He's a strong guy. And that's going to take us to the quarter here. So Triton will have to... Flip field position here and go against the wind. Clock on the scoreboard. It's for, it was for us the first second. It takes a second to read. So. so that's the end of the first quarter. Triton leads 14 to 8. It's time for the Fo Triton Football Parents Fundraiser. Money goes towards team dinner, sack lunches for after game supplies, senior banners, senior night, and team gear if needed by the coach. Raffle tickets are on sale starting in September. They are $5 each or $20 for four tickets. 
Find a player or manager to have a chance at some great prizes. Winners will be announced on senior night at the October 1st home game. Some of the prizes include a $100 gift card from Corner Cornerstone Event Wedding Venue from Jim and Misha Conley. A $200 gift card from Ruoff Mortgage Senior Loan Off from Senior Loan Officer Whitney Swanson. Two $75 meat packages from Shively Freezer Beef. Tim and Lori Shively. Happy cows taste better. I can answer that one as, as, as is a fact. A $25 gift card from Robin's Nest. She will be donating a plaque to the football player manager who sells the most tickets. Thank you, Robin, for your support. A $25 gift card from The Standard. Three free pizzas from Bourbon Street Pizza and two free subs in that package. Reich, a Riker net package. A $50 gift card from Journey's Inn from Natalie Bruggins and Mike Kuntz. And then the one here, a four two-hour shifts from the football players. So if you need your garage cleaned, yard work, etc., they will be your helpers for a two-hour shift. So a special thank you to all those who donated and your constant support of Triton football. So here's your chance, Trojan fans, family, fam, friends, and family members to help support Triton football and find a player or manager near you and buy a raffle ticket for a chance at these wonderful prizes. So second quarter coming up, second down and 15 following that quarterback sack at the end of the first quarter. Trent, what kind of things do you want to see here in the second quarter from Triton as far as trying to do what you're trying to do on offense? Offensively, hold your ground. Don't give any weight to their defensive line. Shoe cuts up field, trying to drag guys. It'll take four to bring him down again. you got to be going forward. you got to push their line back. It's only a three front. Work on them double team blocks. Get to the next level. Give uh, Shoe some room to run here. Kasson's doing a great job of coming up and tackling Anthony mm -hmm. Shoe after that first long run that he had. Yeah, I'm going to be surprised as Trey Shue comes out here looking like we're going with a light set. Maybe might throw the ball on third and 14 here. Routabush checking in now for the Comets. As Duval came off the field. Shively out of the shotgun. Two wide receivers left. Going to go pitch. Going to reverse it back to Amson. He'll cut up field, and he's not going to get much. The lead blocker on that, Dominic Smith, didn't couldn't quite find anybody to block there, but uh, he's got to do a better job. Just find someone, even yeah. if it's a double team. you got to find someone to block. So Fourth and 14 coming up as Shive. They have to kick it into the wind. As the line there just kind of just broke down. I mean, the last couple of, on the last little interchange there, just having kind of a hard time here in this. Yeah, Kasten's starting to really uh, put up a, a fight up there on, along the line of scrimmage, mm -hmm. and if – Triton can't move the ball. They're going to be in some trouble here. Snaps low. Chavez taking up off the turf. Low, oh, low kick. kick. Dante Workman wisely to take a roll. Irvine will down it, and Castle will take over inside their own twenty yard. They're inside their own twenty yard line. It almost looked like Schaefer was intrigued enough to maybe catch that ball and try to run with it. It went right by his face. At the same time, though, if you're not sure, <laughs> just leave it alone. <laughs> It's not one of those ones where you want to sit there and be like, yeah, I can do this. Nah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that was me. Always drop on it. <laughs> I'm not picking it up. <laughs> Let's just take the safe play. I mean, I'll gamble on other things. Not that. <laughs> gamble on myself picking up a ball and not fumbling? No, thank you. <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> so first and 10 now from their own 18-yard line as Hickle will go to work. Back under center. Sullivan the center. Send Right motion. up the middle, Sam Smith. Look at, man, he's dragging players. Triton's reaching in there. You see those guys are reaching in there trying to get a hold of that football. Cam Shively came in there and just trying to reach under that bear claw and knock it free. Yeah, but you can see Kasson just moving us pretty easily Sam here up Smith front. Moved us. The line was moving three or four yards past the line of scrimmage there. Got to stay on your ground. Second and fourth on that six-yard carry. And have Sullivan out right. Three backs in the backfield. Schaefer in motion. Going right to go right back to Smith, Smith, and he rumbles right through. Can't. Almost got the first down there. I think he's going to be a little short. A little bit better job of the Trojans gang tackling there. Just trying to look at Josh. The claw Limler was in on that one with Riley Wood and Cunningham. Going to be third down here and short. And we've seen them go for it within their own 30, so this could yeah, very well be four downs. down four down territory here again. Two downs to get this here. Third and two now. Hickle back Hickle under center. Three to 27. 
Schaefer in motion. Hickel's going to keep it himself and go outside. Mm. Is that who took it? He, he, he got it, I think. Uh, it looks like it'll be enough for a first down. The head official said to move the chains. Hickle, Signals yeah. again. And cast with another first down. It's, it's one thing for this Comet team, and watching the film, watching the things they do, they move the chains really well. Yeah, you're not going to see a lot of big home runs, but you, which they can do it. Mm -hmm. But yet, their team that really uses that clock and really can move the really move the chains. Yeah, they like to eat that clock up, not allow their opponents to um, have any time to score. Quarterback keeper as Hickel will rumble forward. A couple yards on the play as the clock continues to run. I wonder if that was a mishandled snap and he just kind of went with it. Kind of looked like it, didn't it? I, I don't think I've ever called a quarterback sneak on first and ten. <laughs> May have on Madden a couple different times, just to upset whoever I was playing with. But, you know. Michael Vick, quarterback sneak to the outside. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> go for it. It's supposed to be a quarterback sneak, just go to the outside. With it him. was designed, all right. <laughs> Hickle back under center. Going outside, Sam Smith. Smith. Landon Limmer trying to wrap him up. Pushes him out of bounds. Landon Limler in there knocking him away. And D'Angelo Holland down there with him, too. So here comes another third down on this drive for Kasten. Like I said, four down territory for these guys. They're not making it easy on them, though. Triton defense is getting them with third down almost every time, and they just can't quite get over the hump there. Third and four, I think Triton almost needs to push Kasten back if they don't want to see a fourth down attempt here. Trey Shue out there, nose tackle. Man in motion, pitches it outside. That's Yaden. Cole's right there. And Cole Shively wraps Woo! him up. Nice. Hangs on for Amson to finish him off. Cole Shively fired up. That's Good bit of tackling there, really watch him. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> it was, it was it was pitches there. it outside. Down here. I heard him call the play. Yeah. Right yeah. And Cole Shively wraps him up. On. Hangs oh, yeah. on for Amson to finish. Hey, whatever you got to do. Hey, make it difficult for him. And just, like I said, just, just, uh, just hold the nail. <laughs> I'm going to use and that for ever now. And comes in and finishes it. <laughs> hey, he must have heard there's some juice boxes and fruit snacks. <laughs> right. He was carrying those. You know, go. Go, go get them. Coach Brown's here. I told him I'm going to overuse that. <laughs> he is here. And Schaefer does a roll right to get a kick. Kessler Workman's going to take it. There. Workman stops, cuts up field, changes directions, kicks on the outside. Anthony shoot the block. Workman gets up to almost to the 50-yard line. That's a good run back. Kessler had 10 guys out there. We're gonna, we've got a penalty over here on the far sideline. They had 10. So what, why is there a penalty for the guy out there? He was running onto the field oh. as – the ball was snapped, and they ran back off the field after the ball was snapped. I was very confused. <laughs> okay, I was like, I didn't quite see them. Like, well, how, how, I thought twelve guys is the penalty. But Dante working. One thing I really appreciate about what he can do is that really that stop and go, and he does a good job really changing directions and really runs the ball with a lot of in good instincts. Yeah, and he's young. He's got years to develop here too. So as the officials break their little huddle here, we're going to see what the call is. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's move this first reading to a different location. Over here is a little better. <laughs> I like over here. A little softer spot over here. <laughs> Long conversation. They're taking their time. It's against Caston. Declined. I, I didn't see the signal for what it was. A legal right, sub. We'll Is that what it was? Okay. So Triton will not. I didn't doubt you, Gaten. Well, oh, oh, I didn't. I've just never seen it. I just didn't know that was a thing. It's not something see you usually Andy see. See how doubted you and if I didn't. You saw yeah. that. <laughs> if they would have snapped, if they would have snapped, <laughs> snapped it with ten guys, it would have been fine. But because that kid was running out onto the field as, <laughs> as yeah. the ball was being snapped, hey, maybe they were watching Hoosiers over the over the week <laughs> My and, team's and, out and, there. and just say, hey, I got enough guys <laughs> out there. Just saying, uh, that could be a possibility too. Shively to go to work out of the shotgun, all by himself back there. So he sends Shoe in motion, shovel pass. As Shoe will come up here near side, tries to split the blockers, but nice job there by Sam Smith to break through the blocker and bring him down. 
she, was at, she has to read his blocks there. I, I think that was Tyler Anderson out there blocking. He was blocking him back towards the play, and she tried to cut up right there. He's got to come around the outside, read his butt. You know, We've had a lot of success the way of with um, tosses and shovel passes, but I think Kasson is starting to get the hang of that. Playing the uh, contain very well here. I like the, I like that right. empty set, though. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was nice. Different look. Snyder out there on the slot to the left. We go to the yeah, Anthony and Shue. Shue takes off again. Stops still on his feet and gets all the way down Man, I was, to the cast in 35. Say, don't to what me happened? Ever, what ever. happened? To you just, you just, you just need to be quiet. But right there, you saw a good pull from Trenton Conley from that left guard spot. Did a real good job kind of falling, getting out in front, giving, enough spin, giving him enough time to get out free and, get, and release him. Anthony Shoes, very patient beast. blocker. Letting the guard get there. Kind of reminds you of a Le'Veon Bell, just real patient. Trey Shoes, and I know where this ball's going. The diesel rumbling forward. He's still on his feet and goes forward. Nice job, Trey Shoe. It's always positive. Rarely. And he negative. always falls forward, I feel like, and gets yeah. an extra yard or two. I think that's genetic because both boys always <laughs> fall forward. I think, that, I think that's genetic. That's another thing you just can't teach. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So five and a half what? minutes to go here in the second quarter. I don't know. Andy's making me laugh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, I can't. He just keeps laughing. Oh, I need to stop. Shiley back under center. Takes the snap. Goes right back to Look Anthony at that. Shue. Oh. Look at the hole. He's Trey gone. Shue, the diesel. Hits cruise control, and it's a touchdown for no. Trey. Oh, dude. Oh. He gets stopped. He gets stopped. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> what happened? It's about 28, it's 28 yards on the carry. <laughs> Trey Shue, he thought about it. Look at the hole that came out. He is just, he is down just shy, maybe at the one yard line. So we are going to have to see it again here as both shoes are in the backfield. How about this time, Trace? Can you get in? Diesel trying to get there, but not quite. I don't know if it's – Eunice wants a touchdown. I think you're going to mark him down at the six-and-a-half inches mark. Run it again. <laughs> <laughs> Diesel's warmed up. Run him again. He got half the yards. He didn't, That's how that works, right? He didn't quite get up warm to speed. That's why Diesel we call him warmed the Diesel. Up. Yeah, got I mean, it warmed up. It don't no. matter. No, if you got to be – You've been to a truck pull? There you go. You don't need to have speed. It's <laughs> but, to but, power. But now, if you got to get all this new future stuff or all this other, does he ha did, was the def loaded? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> now we're getting technical. <laughs> well, I don't know. We oh. just, Trace came out of I the I don't game. know. You turn it on, you go. That's all I <laughs> – let it warm up a little bit. Leva. <clears throat> Might have been a lot of running for him there on that yeah. last drive. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. It's a little too much. It's the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the. That's all right. I was playing a game three, four years ago, and one kid was just doing it out on the field. May or may not have blew a head uh, gasket. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was there. The window was open, and I just went through. I'm sorry. <laughs> So here we go now. Second down and goal from the one-foot line. Riley Wood has checked in for Trey Shue here. We saw him with a couple carries against South Central and Manchester in the, in the scrimmage. Give the ball to Anthony. Let him follow the lead blocker. Ooh. Gets outside. Oh. Kasson shoots it. But here goes Shue again for his second touchdown. <laughs> Tyler Ramsden fired up. <laughs> Watch him right here. Did a good job. Kind of put it down just a little bit. Did a good job that second half. Get in there. Get in there. Set to kick the field goal here. Dominic Smith, the holder. And kick is up. up. And good. And good. Kick, it's good. 
Cole kicks it so high up over the goalpost, I never know. I never know if it's good. So Triton pushing their lead back up, 21-8 now with 4:17 to go in the second quarter. And all that was all set up by that big 28-yard run by the Diesel. That second quarter flew by. Yeah, it did. Nothing but runs, no stopping the clock. Makes for some quick football. I, I, think I like that. We shouldn't say it, but Tide must have pulled their sponsorship because we haven't had. See, now it's going to happen. <laughs> See, th this is why we mute Trenton for things. <laughs> oh man, you know I'm getting closer over here, Trenton. You, you start calling Sorry, stuff man. again. I'm hitting now. Now we got Kenny. I'm going to have to watch Plus, me him too. I can't stop laughing <laughs> half the time, man. Hey, and I was talking Woo. to somebody about that this week about the uh, Tide sponsorship. You said, you know, they, they need to they need to look into that. I'm dead serious. We're giving them yep. ideas here. Yep. I'm just saying. Of course, you got the student section down there. Who are we lifting up down there? I can't tell. I don't know. <laughs> Whoever it is, she's light. They're talking. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the student section fired up, of course. Got our photographer back from Bloomington. Yeah, he's floating around somewhere. And he's right down there. So he walks here behind the oh. <laughs> Images by Trent, a big time IU photographer now. But he still hasn't forgotten his roots. Nope, nope. nope. right back here. Shiven out a kick, Smith, and Sullivan back deep to return it again. Shiven since a line drive kick, kind of slides side over side there. Oh, and oh and it goes no. right through underneath Sullivan. Here comes the Trojans. Sullivan kicks back up, and I believe. That might have been Cunningham initially on the tackle. And Trenton Conley and Cole Irvine coming there to finish him off. I think Dante Workman was down in there too. When's he not? That kid is fast. Covers kicks really well. That's Doesn't one thing. He? I mean, he does a great job. That's how you get varsity time on it's offense and defense. You cover the kicks well. That's how it starts. So Holland, Shively, Amsden. Who else we got out there? We got Cunningham. Snyder, Limler, Wood, McLean Middaw, Cam Shively, Josh Limmer, and Evan Bryles out there on defense for the Trojans. Hickel under center, first and 10 from his own 16 yard line. Since he's going right up the guy. Oh, man. And Smith running through. Number Ripping at that ball still. Ball yeah, but he's just bouncing off of people, man. He's running it hard. About nine yards, eight, nine yards for Sam Smith there. Ethan Howe checking in to go along the line. Number 77. Line. Another big dude, 6'4", 235-pound junior. <laughs> not even a senior yet. Still got room to grow. Still got room to grow, <laughs> yeah. He, he may not be done. So Hickel now back under center. Second and one from his own 25 on that big run there as Yaden goes in motion. Goes right back to Smith, and Smith spins out and gets a first down. Mm -hmm. It was a good initial hit there by yeah. Amsden, and then a good cleanup by Cunningham, I believe. And if you're watching just a little bit, when he spun around right there, I mean, rip for that ball, because he's late. that ball is away from his body. I mean, it's yeah. out there. Reach out there and knock, knock that thing loose. I've already fumbled it twice off of mostly exchanges between the quarterback and running back, but see if you can get another one. But Casson doing a good job moving those chains. This offense has done a great job. The line's getting a good push. They're moving positive yards each time. The Trojans just got to find a way to get across that line. Mm -hmm. And for Cast and hold this ball as long as you can. You don't want to give it back to Triton, who also gets the ball to start the second half and potentially score both those times and then Goes you're in a deep Smith hole. Smith and he rumbles forward for a nice gain on first down. Might have gotten seven on the carry. Smith off the right Six. Tackle. And is Garrison Hickel, is that his brother then? It has to be some sort of relation. I'm, I'm, it's either going to be cousins or brothers. They're both seniors. He was out run blocking there for either his brother or cousin or whatever. And oh, family he's member. leading the way. They're both 6'3 and 6'4 either way. He was leading the way. Hickel under center. Goes right back to Smith. Cuts up field. Nice one-step cut there and goes up forward. He'll have... Be close to a first down. Might be a yard shy. Third down coming up. Whitaker trying to get his defense to focus here. 
That's a big third down. Third and one, short yardage. Watch the quarterback sneak. We've seen it on a first down. We've seen it on a fourth down. Why not make it a third down? You don't want Kasten to score before that end of the half and get a closer game here. And to Kasten's credit, this has been one of the first offensive lines really pushed around this Trojan defense. False start. And a false it start. Like, I don't think I don't see a flag. And Coach Eunice is. It both look like both the guards fall started. Coach Eunice is right yeah, in this official's ear down here. He did not like the call. Every other coach up here in the booth with us didn't like the call. <laughs> That's kind of what I thought. I mean, it looked like we had some movement up there. And Josh Lumber out there pleading his case. He tries to fire up his defense. 92 seconds to go in this one. If Kasten hopes to score, they're going to need a big chunk play here soon. Yep. They got, three, they got two, two timeouts, timeouts. Left, though, here. Outside to Smith, cuts up field. Holland missed the tackle initially, but there was Landon Limler, Landon Limler there to wrap him up. He's come a long way, man. But Kasten, they're extremely good at moving those chains. That football is going in positive direction. This team is on the move. Mm -hmm. Like you said, hold that ball and don't give Triton another chance to score before a half. The final minute here of the first half, ticks down. Worth mentioning that the junior high one beat Winnemac today. Yes, yep. In football, 34-6. Looked really good. Right up the right gut. In the middle, and they're going to go right up the middle, and it might be a football loose. Yeah, and if I see right, Tyler Rams in there at the bottom to get a recover the fumble. That's his second. Fumble recovery of the game. 38 seconds and three timeouts. That ball just popped free, caught me off guard. If we start tossing the football here, we could be in good shape. Fumble recovered by Triton. Three fumbles is the way to go with that. So Triton here. Forcing three turnovers in this first half. In the half. First and 10, 38 first seconds yard to go 55 yards. Right to Shoe. Shoe kicks up here near side, trying to follow his blocking. Oh, and here oh. comes Sam Smith, and that's the first time I've seen Anthony Shoe push backwards this season. And he still went forward at the end. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> he still went forward. <laughs> I think he got maybe one or two there. Here we go. Hurry up offense. For Shively now as Kasten starting to drop back a little bit. Shively rolls left. Here comes the pressure, steps in and throws oh, he's the got ball. He had Cole just under through. Or Amari. Do you still remember your combo routes? <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Didn't even know him when I was in high school. <laughs> I suppose that's all right. You didn't really have <laughs> oh, to. Oh, <laughs> boy. He, I, he didn't ever run him anyway. <laughs> they gave me a wrist coach and said memorize him. He was like, am I going to run him? <laughs> like, I have a wrist coach. I don't need to memorize him. <laughs> I can see him out there, Trenton. Okay, which one the ball snapped? <laughs> well, I'm supposed to run this way. Well, hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang, hold on. <laughs> so 11 seconds to go. Third and eight from their own 47. Triton going to see if they can't take one last shot here. Shively going Speed the option. option. Goes right out to Shoe. Shoe takes off. Shoe up the field, spins, gets a first down. A I think we're going to see a timeout from Eunice. Get it closer for a possible Hail Mary, maybe. <laughs> and the half. Go Aaron Rodgers on him. Oh, Did nope, Eunice nope. not call a timeout? Did not call a timeout. Oh. Shively spikes it. All right. That doesn't make any sense because they had three timeouts. Right. Yeah, I don't get that. Well, still going to get one last play either way, I suppose. Well, we're saving those last three for the point three left, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're going to call one here, oh, regroup. It's <laughs> Madness all over again. Walk back out there, not going to like the formation. <laughs> Another timeout. <laughs> I don't know how many times uh, timeouts were called during that uh, they won basketball game last year, Andy. You remember that uh, game? I don't know, but I'm, I remember the game, but I couldn't tell you. I think they used them all in the last, what, 20 seconds? Yeah. Golly. Get the whole thing built up against Glenn and gotta get all get a nice build up. <laughs> and nope, I gotta do it again. Shively back out. Another shotgun drops back. Clock sounds. Gonna throw it here near side to Snyder. Or excuse me, Irvine's Irvine. got it. Irvine stops, goes, gets knocked out of bounds. And that'll do it for the first half. Triton leads 21 8. And we'll be right back after halftime right here on the Triton Trojan Sports Network.
to game time, to pure spirit, to pure sport. Welcome back to High School Sports. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back. This is game time. This is Indiana High School Sports. This is your IHSAA. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA.
All right, welcome back, everyone, as we're live here from Triton High School as the Trojans lead 21-8 with about a minute 15 to go before we get the second half underway. Caden, well, since we'll leave with you since the first time you've been back. Of course, we had Farrell was up here to see us here at halftime. Caden, what kind of things for for Caster they need to do in the second half? Because this is a team that, you know, they're down the scoreboard. This team I won't be down for long. Yeah, first things first, you're kicking off to Triton because you got that opening kickoff fumbled on the first play. So you have to make that first stop and really get yourself back into this ball game. And it all starts with these first three plays, first four plays, five plays, however many plays it takes. You have to get a stop here on the Trojans. Now, Trent, I don't want you to make a call on any, on any place. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of things would you do for if you're the Trojans coming out here on offense? Uh, you got to just keep feeding the ball to Anthony Shue, get some good uh, – Good blocks up front and get him some room to run, like I've said before. And if Cole decides to pass it, got to give him some time to toss the ball and find the open receiver. And like we talked there, I mean, with Cole has a chance to pass the ball. I mean, you know, throwing into the wind that last time, he didn't quite get that ball where he wanted to. Get, I mean, we've seen him throw the ball a good mm -hmm. 30, 40 yards and get it on point kind of where it needs to be for the receiver to make a play. I think if you're the receivers today, look that football in. I think if you have the chance here, I mean, going against the wind, you're not going to see as many passes, but yet this offensive line, for me, the offensive line has got to get a little bit, has got to be better in the second half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have to give him just a little bit more time. A little bit more time is all you can ask for to hopefully make that as perfect as you can ball. Just one more second can give him plenty of time just to find the receiver. Just one more second. And then on the receiver end of that, that ball is not going to be perfect. You have to know that when you start your route. You might see a ball coming your way. You need to go get that ball. You. Well, even if you're five or ten yards away, you see that ball, you've got to go to the ball. Yeah. You can't just stand there and watch it hit the ground. You've got to go there, get that ball, or at least make it harder for the – if there's going to be an inter interception, get in there and make sure there's not going to be an interception. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you stand there and watch, I mean, a casting player could very well swoop right in front of you and pick that ball off and take it the other way. Well, it's starting to get a little cloudy here as we might have some weather working its way as the wind has picked up, blowing a lot harder there towards the north end zone. But I think if you're if you're trying, you've got to score. If you're going to air the ball out here, you're going to have to do it here in the second half, cause, or this third quarter especially, because fourth quarter you're going to back into the wind. Yeah, right here is when the uh, the tides will start to shift. The momentum will play a part right here in this opening drive. Triton's got to come out and come out strong and get a touchdown early or a field goal, put some points on the board. So Sam Smith, that first kickoff they had there in the, fir in the first quarter, look for that, and he's kind of kind of just kicks off the toe there, and kind of it's a low kick. So you got to be able to pounce on that football. Oh, uh oh, we're having a no, South Central now, issue. Now this time <laughs> is legit. We're having a South Central issue. It's not that way. There was there was no wind in that game. There's wind in this game. <laughs> they just didn't know how to set it up on a tee. I don't think. Well, just the ground wasn't soft enough in that spot. I guess I don't know. <laughs> they, they didn't want to use the favorite spot at the other end of the field. Oh no. <laughs> So Smith goes up. Ooh. It's a low line kick. Javen Mays wisely falls on it, and Triton will start just past their own 40 yard line as they've had good starting field position all game long. All right, good instincts by uh, Javen Smith to catch that ball and just fall on it. So their own 43 is where they'll start up. First and 10. You know, Triton's moving the ball, but I think moving the chains. God has to be a little bit more important. I think ball control is going to be huge in the second half for them. Yeah, if you're Triton, don't allow Casson to get back into this ball game by holding the ball. Do what they've done very well in this first half and just run your offense, take your time, get up to the line, run it crisply, get these first downs, and just work that clock. Goes up to Trey Shue, and Trey Shue gets stopped at the line. Right there, looks like a final push by Garrison Hickel in there on the tackle. Yeah, and Grant. A Yadin, if I'm pronouncing that right, 21. No, I, I forgot Something to ask that at halftime. Yeah, Yadin is what? Yadin. Yadin. Don. I'm not going to call. I'm going to go with Don <laughs> on, on that one. He's he's a legend. I'm, I'm going agree. with him. So second down and nine after the one <coughs> yard on the carry there. So Irvine must be better as he's out far left, or right, excuse me. Snap goes to shoe up the middle, and there is Garrison Hickel again and stops him. casson has been ready for the, the Trey Shoe show here in the second half. Say that a bunch of times fast. I bet you can't. Um, I know I can't. <laughs> Hickel, Hickel did a nice job reading the play, saw the gap, just exploded through it and blew the play up at the line of scrimmage. Well, this half, I'm not going to try and say go to the outside or go to the inside. I'm just going to be quiet. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> this case on over here where he can hit buttons and everything else like that and try to his little fu his funny buttons he uses over here. 
I, you guys strategically put me on the outside, there, everybody. <laughs> Shiley takes the snap. Oh, trips up there. She uh, tries to get out to the outside. He's got outside play. to Rodebush and Smith. Shiley up the field, still on his feet. Shiley with first down and more. Oh, yeah, he kind of saw him there, kind of take off, kind of tripped up over, I don't know, over the lineman's feet or if he just kind of lost his footing a little bit. But nice balance by him to get it up up upright. <laughs> Someone pull this way, go the opposite. <laughs> so, so you sit there and Dom, when you're on your way through, trip him up just a little bit and we'll be all right. We've got to sell, gotta sell it now. We've got to sell it. Shively, first and 10 from the Casson 32 yard line. And I think we're going to get our first Triton penalty. That's an, it looks like a Illegal false start there, legal Triton. procedure. Five yard penalty. Still wish. High school officials had the microphone, though, to <laughs> call that. That would be nice. Just saying that, that, that would be nice. And that'll be the Trojans' first penalty of the ball game. Correct. That'll move them back five yards. Both teams with just one penalty because the uh, oh, that's right. one was declined that's on right. the punt. Did we go too far back? Apparently I thought the, he did. The uh, steps were... Yeah, off. I think maybe they went five steps back too far. I think we're back to that. <laughs> 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 I don't know what they're doing. So Irvine out right. A pair of shoes in the backfield. <laughs> <Does Anthony get set? laughs> Here oh. comes the pressure the outside. Nice job there to get out and get Sorry, free. That was Kane Shane Lob. And Garrison Hickel again. Pickle leads Kasson and Sachs coming into this one. I believe he had two and a half on the year. At the 42-yard line, loss of five will be second. I got to use it, and of course he gets to be here for it. <laughs> <laughs> right, but it took me a second to understand why you're giggling. I'm like, ah. Did you see him roll his eyes? I can, I can hear him roll his eyes. <laughs> this, this is the one thing we had talked about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm glad I got to use it in person. <laughs> Shively out of the shotgun. <laughs> Takes a snap, second and 20 off his own 42. Here comes the pressure and throws oh. it right in the face of Kane Shane Lob. Yeah, well, that might be worse. <laughs> Watch him break free here in the air. So. Uh, uh, he had room to run if they could have gotten yeah, on the ball it's there. just that screen because yeah. we saw the guard and the tackle just completely leave the area as soon as the ball was snapped. and. Way to bat that Shively thing, just man. couldn't. Jeez. Just I mean, fit it into that little hole there. You know, and Kane, 6'5", it's a tall guy to yeah. throw over top. Of course, his brother, good size, too. Played quarterback back in Caden's day, and I think he played against me when he was quarterback. Tough quarterback, tough dude. You remember him? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't really remember names. Shovel pass, Anthony Shue. Kicks the outside. Go. Good blocking but by Tyler Amsden. He runs through another one. They're going to have to, Hickel's going to have to force him out of bounds. And Triton gets close. Amazon blocking this way. He's going to come right off that way of him. And now it's fourth and five. Decision time. Looks like the Trojans are going to stay out there. Well, got it close, so why not? I think with the wind, though, Shively might be able to boot this one through. Maybe they're going to try a hard snap. Goes to Shue. Shue bounces outside. He's, he's gonna, got, he's got first the first down, down and more. Shue more? cuts back in. Still on his feet. Hickle again forces him out. Right Apologies. Okay. We thought it was number three. He wasn't listening on the roster. <laughs> Just go. Ball is now to the 13 yard line. How about that? It was second and 20, and we got <laughs> so it's Landon Schaefer. yards in two plays. Okay, so Landon Schaefer's number four. Got that confirmed from the coaching staff over here to our left. 54. Appreciate that. And Trey Shue rumbles forward Trey for a yard or so. <laughs> Yeah, 
You know, this is Trey Shoe's first game back from just kind of getting healthy before he got got Ham to play this season. And hamstring injury, I believe. Yep. Glad to see him back out there and competing. That's it, it might take him a game or so to get things figured out. Hopefully it's quicker than sooner than later because he's a guy that's going to be a key contributor here for the Trojans this season. And I believe that Trace's shoe came untied and he had to come out. Riley Wood came in for him. See what happens when you run with one shoe? <laughs> <laughs> There's a shoe right there. Anthony's shoe can't quite get there. Look like some missed blocks up there. I saw linemen trying to go upfield, but there were still guys in front of him they missed. That was a pretty cool transition there. Thank you. Talking about shoe and then shoe. <laughs> See, he makes fun of me for stuff like this, and then and then, and then he good. starts to do it. See? You rub him off on me a little too much there, Andy. <laughs> Just saying. Third and eight now from the cast and 11-yard line. Got to convert here. The wind to your back, the clock is running. I mean, you, you got all the elements. You want to find pay dirt here in the beginning of the – Third quarter. Ate up a lot of this third quarter. Yeah. Five minutes now. Just three seconds on the play clock. They do get it off. It's a toss. Goes to shoe. Cuts up field. Has a nice hole. Shoe and more. Shoe rubbing for a touchdown. Anthony Shoe. I don't think I've ever seen a simple toss out. Of course, almost got the moonwalk. Of moonwalk. course, got the Bremen players came down here for today's game to help out. See them down there on the sideline. Appreciate that. And we'll meet them next week, correct? Here at home. What? Bremen. What just happened? Uh, Is it good? <laughs> So you see our schedule there. Like he said, like he said, next week, Bremen back here at home, and then on the road, Culver, and that Pioneer, and then finish up the home uh, stand here at North Judson, October 1st, and then those two away games, Knox and Winnemac. And, of course, those away games, we're going to do everything we can to bring those to you, but we'll keep an eye on the Triton Trojans website, yep. and we'll – Keep those up to date, whether we'll be broadcasting or not. Yeah, that Pioneer game, we're not sure on. Culver, not sure on. But yeah, Culver kind of depends on the weather. If if we're outside, unfortunately, we'll have to. We, if it's raining, we unfortunately won't be able to call outside because Ryan will probably be having kittens if he sits outside <laughs> and everything, everything gets wet. <laughs> See, I can say because he's not wearing a headset. He's got he's got headphones on. Well, <laughs> he can say something, but he can still mute you over there, though. <laughs> I've got to hit under the computer a little bit more. <laughs> see, I, so Shively to kick, back deep. And Sullivan and Smith. Right. He's kicked, what, three out of the end zone already today? Three out of the end zone, all in that first quarter. See if you can make it a fourth here. <laughs> Casting getting set here. I've been out of kick. We'll send it back away. It's a low kick, but I think no, it'll bounce it. again. Yep. About 65 yards. Oh, no, it would be more than that, wouldn't it? So he's kicking from the 40. That's 60. <laughs> yeah, and then five yards. Five yards, so 65. Yeah. Sounds right. Why are you questioning yourself? I don't know. I, I don't know. Now I'm starting to get worried. You know, you have all that confidence build up when you do your math right the first couple times, and then uh, – well, then we all look at you like, what are you doing, even though you're right? <laughs> yeah, and that doesn't help anything for my confidence, okay? That's my favorite part. <laughs> yeah. I can't be right. Andy said it. <laughs> it's not, not, now you're catching on, Trent. <laughs> it's only taking you three weeks, but, hey, you're catching on. Oh, man. First and ten from their own 20-yard line as Hickel goes under center. He's right of us in motion, but he'll go up the middle, and Triton reads it well along the line. Lee Smith on the carry. Bunch of blue jerseys, and that's what you like to see. Fill in the hole, nowhere to run. And I think this this drive here for the Trojan front line is going to have to really gonna have to build their confidence going here for this next quarter and a half. Smith down for a second, shaking up, but he's back up. 
He's a tough dude. I you think know, he was just waiting for all the Trojans just, to get off of him. <laughs> I mean, everybody was down there. I mean, we've got 11 That's guys true. in the field. I think all seven were down, and seven of the 11 were there. Shifting across the defensive <coughs> line here as Kasten comes out. Yate in motion, going to go right to Smith. He'll Good cut play. up field. Nice play there as he gets through. I think Amari Snyder in there to trip him up. And Cunningham as well. I think he confused D'Angelo okay. and uh, D'Angelo Holland and Landon with that pitch to the outside. Everyone thought it was heading that way and handed it up the gut there. Since so we got the linebacker talking, what's that like trying to read that? Because you mean you've been playing against those Culver teams that could disguise really well. What, if you're on the outside, if you're Holland, what, what are you looking for? Well, you can't watch the ball because if you watch the ball, you'll get confused. So you got to watch the guards like Caden's been saying all night. Follow the guards. They'll lead you to the play about 99% of the time. So. Follow that. Take on a lead blocker or find the running back and tackle. Unless they call Shively naked bootleg that was broken. <laughs> <laughs> right. Shively up the left side. He'll, or excuse me, Smith up this left side. And he sees look at, look, look what you did. Look at you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Would you go back down to Indianapolis? I'll say <laughs> whatever. <laughs> you want to know how many Sam Smith jokes I want to make, but I just keep refraining myself. I'm sure myself, you do. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. More than just a singer. <laughs> <laughs> As he's enough for a first down there. First and 10 now from their own 35. As Duval leads the charge up to snap it. Hickle will keep it and go up forward. Now, that's happened twice. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> it does seem weird, though. Braden Cunningham, we, we haven't talked about him very much today, but he's come a long way. I remember when I was a junior, he was starting to work out a little bit and wanted to join football, and or maybe it was a sophomore, and eventually joined, and he looked pretty good out here. You know, he's the guy that's in that single high safety spot. He's starting to figure out how to get up in the box, make a tackle. Yeah. He's really starting to come a long way. And not just an athlete. He's up near the top of his class in school, too. Had a man beat deep, but Hickle pulls it back. Here comes Tyler Amson to force him out, but it's going to oh. take Evan Bryles and Landon Limler. He might have gotten the I first down. I, I think, think he, he did. First. Yep. Plus, yeah. So nine yards. It's on the carry there. Didn't go down. Might just be a bootleg run there. Yep. Recognize what the score is. You might know that a pass might be coming here soon. So as they near midfield here now for on first and ten. Yaden goes in motion, gonna give it to Smith up the gut. And Triton will stop it. Not Good push there by the line. McLean mid on there, help push around too, but I think initially, if I see that right, that's Riley Wood. Stacking the wood pile there. <laughs> He can lay it, too, let me tell you. I mean, that, that kid, we, we saw him make some big hits, really really wraps guys up and tackles well. Riley Wood has just been impressive yeah. this season. His instincts as a middle linebacker you've seen grow over the first two games, and he's putting it all together here in the third. Now I'm noticing here pre-snap that the middle linebackers for Triton are starting to creep up a little bit. Landon Lemler, Riley Wood, that's what's going to open up those outside runs mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. this these play that's – Plays that take a long time to develop because they're just shooting the gap right away. Hickle <laughs> looks to throw, drops right. Lindler, the man to stop, can't get him there, and Amari Steiner comes up and trips him up. And that's going to be close to a first down, might be a yeah, yard yeah, short. And you could see they, they kind of caught D'Angelo Holland in the wash there. He thought it was going to be a run because that's what they've been doing all night. And then he had to drop back and sprint his, his butt off to try and get back to his guy and just gave him room to run. Unfortunately, Landon Lindler was the guy there to kind of make the initial stop, couldn't quite get the angle he wanted. Yeah. It's tough to bring down somebody in open field when it's that much open field. Yep. So. Sometimes you just got to lay there and take the hit. <laughs> <laughs> Hickle's going to keep and push forward for a first down for the cast in Comets. Moving the chains really well here in the start of the, or the third quarter. Another first down for them. They've had several here today. Yeah. Two yard run for the first down for Hickle. So 3.05 to go here in the third quarter. Andy O'Hare alongside Kate and Atkins, Trenton Kreft, Kenny Barnhart, and the Hall of Famer Ryan Lindner here for the Triton Trojan Sports Network. Yeah, we Welcome in casting. Had to add to some extra splitters to get everybody on. Yeah. <laughs> I had to add some stuff. Not very often we've got to use more than four headsets. 
we can only use four. You can listen on the fifth one. Goes right to Smith as he gets hurt. Cam Shively wraps him up and brings him down. Let's see if I get this. Oh, oh, bust through the line. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy tackle. You're not getting away from Cam Shively one on one when you're that close to him. And especially, he's a guy, Cam does such a great job. When he goes up against his offensive lineman, he does a good job just really getting him out of the way. And he uses those the, the hand fighting by him to get free has really improved in the last few seasons. Yeah, he really likes to rip through the lineman. Just a quick swim move, get around him, and blow it up in the backfield. I think we're going to have a false start here. I thought they missed one on the last play. So that'll bring up third or second down and 16. Was it, was it 64? I didn't see uh, it. Because I know McLean fell, and I know McLean doesn't fall that easy. <laughs> Speaking of other guy, it's really done some good this year. I mean, McLean Middaw has just really owned him, done a good job with the ownership along the line and doing a lot of things he's done this season. He's made, he helps. I mean, he does a real good job along the line. His motor's been there, his effort's there. He's done a good job, definitely a leader on that line. He's really stepped up this year. He knew he was going to have to fill a big spot in that defensive line, and he's done a good job this year. Second down at 16 from the Trojan, 48. Goes outside to Smith, a design halfback pass, looking back for Hickel. Amson's right there with him, and Amson can't get it, knocked it free! Tyler Amson with some great coverage, jumped in front of the receiver, got a hand up, and knocks it down. Great play recognition there. Yeah, as soon as Smith caught that ball, he wasn't looking to run, and I think that's what Amson was looking at. He saw Hickel trying to creep out of the backfield there and was able to blow it up. You talk about defensive player of the game, Tyler Amson recovering two fumbles and then getting in there with a pass deflection on the halfback pass. He read that well, backpedaled right, right way on the coverage, and did a good job getting in front of the ball and knocking it away. So third down and long now for the Comets. Following their incomplete pass, goes outside to Smith. They're going to thought about designing again. And Smith gets up forward. Good gain there, but he'll be Smith well short, short of a first down. Mm -hmm. Great block there by number 65. That's Kane Shane Lob. I mean, he <laughs> took D'Angelo Holland to the sideline and then to the ground to help yeah, open up that big hole there. He gained about. And D'Angelo Holland's still getting his feet wet. He hasn't yeah. been. He has, doesn't have a lot of varsity experience. He didn't play much last year and then yeah. was hurt for the first two games. He's a good athlete. He'll get he'll get used to it. He'll figure out the speed of this game and start to figure it out a little more. So fourth down and six now. The Trojan 38. And they're going to go for it. Since eight in motion. Going to be a option play out left. Kicks it Sam outside. Smith. Riley Wood can't quite get there. And Cole Shively brings him down, but it'll be enough for a first down for Caston as they continue to drive here in this third quarter. Let's see if I get this first. Oh, Watch here. Oh, Put that into their offensive system there. And, you know, like I said, this casting team, they're a good football team, really well coached, really well organized out there. And moving the chains the way they do, this is a team that's only going to get better. I think they got the ball with about seven minutes, and they've already ate up about six minutes here. Yeah. Right motion, motion. Same here comes play, Riley just, Wood. Oh, stuff. And Josh the Claw Josh Limler Lemmer. gets in there. The Claw run knocked him down. Tried to run the same play, just opposite side, and – Triton was ready for it that time. Final minute of the third quarter coming up here. Second and 12 as they pushed him back their two yards. And to go here, but like you said, both teams using that clock, but casting. This is the team, I'm telling you what, circle them on your schedule. These guys are scrapping. They play football really hard. So we're now under a minute to go. Second and 12. Out of bush in motion, goes back to Hickel, rolling Hickle. right, stopped, and wrapped up the claws again. Josh Limler in there on the tackle. Get maybe one Hickle. yard past the line of scrimmage. Yeah, the Something original like line that. of scrimmage, Hickel. Bring it back to the 30 for third and 10 here. and Probably two down territory, though, I would, I would assume. I think we're going to see that at the – Start of next quarter because 20 seconds to go on the play clock, 14 seconds to go on the game clock. Caston's going to come to the line here. So they can get a quick snap or draw the Trojans off sides. 
Final play here in the third quarter. Hickel trying the hard count. Triton staying put, goes outside to Smith. Right. Looking for free play, halfback pass. Amson's there Hick again, uh, and Hickel, Hickel comes up with it. Hickel just makes a better play than Amson there. Amson didn't do anything wrong. Just a good play by Hickel. That's the end of the third quarter. Triton leads 28 to 8. But Caston on the move here as they'll have the ball to start the fourth quarter. It's time for the Fo Triton Football Parents Fundraiser. Money goes towards team dinner, sack lunches for after-game supplies, senior banners, senior night, and team gear if needed by the coach. Raffle tickets are on sale starting in September. They are $5 each or $20 for four tickets. Find a player or manager to have a chance at some great prizes. Winners will be announced on senior night at the October 1st home game. Some of the prizes include a $100 gift card from Corner Cornerstone Event Wedding Venue from Jim and Misha Conley, a $200 gift card from Ruoff Mortgage Senior Loan Off from Senior Loan Officer Whitney Swanson, two $75 meat packages from Shively Freezer Beef, Tim and Lori Shively, Happy Cows Taste Better. I can answer that one as, as, as it is a fact. A $25 gift card from Robin's Nest. She will be donating a plaque to the football player manager who sells the most tickets. Thank you, Robin, for your support. A $25 gift card from The Standard, three free pizzas from Bourbon Street Pizza, and two free subs in that package, Reich, a Riker net package, a $50 gift card from Journey's Inn from Natalie Bruggins and Mike Kuntz, and then the one here, a four two-hour shifts from the football players, so if you need your garage cleaned, yard work, etc., they will be your helpers for a two-hour shift. So a special thank you to all those who donated and your constant support of Triton football. So here's your chance, Trojan fans, family, fam, friends, and family members to help support Triton football and find a player or manager near you and buy a raffle ticket for a chance at these wonderful prizes. All right, fourth quarter underway here. Triton leads. Fourth and one coming up here, as Caden said. I know I think we might have an idea what's coming. We've seen it on first down. We've seen it on fourth down. Why not hit <laughs> another quarterback sneak right up the gut? I think if you're the Trojans, you need Riley Wood and Lane Lumber clogging that A gap. And there it is. That's exactly where Hickel shoots. And you sit there. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. Works just fine. I was thinking half back pass again. Anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> that would have been the one yard to go. <laughs> Chuck that, that thing. That would have been the fourth yeah. time this drive we've seen the halfback pass. Hey, first and ten. You snuck it a couple different times. And now here is this where you use it? No. Might here. catch him off guard the fourth time in a row. You know. So first and ten now from the Trojan 18-yard line. Hickle under center sends Radabush in motion. Rolls right. Option There's keeps option. himself rolling up field. So much field. Holland makes a contact and Triton slows him down. He's now well. In the red zone. He played that well, kept his eyes to make that one cut back yep. towards the defense. That's really hard to stop. So, like I said, cast and driving here, 28, 28 to 8. Don't count them out. I may be on the score with this team that has a big playability. They can go down and score points in a hurry. And a chance to make it a two-possession game once again. Going right up the gut to Smith. Spins and drives. Not Needed quite. seven. Got a couple. Got about four maybe. So second down and goal coming up here from about the three. <clears throat> Smith picks up three yards to the three-yard line. Second goal. Quarterback sneak. Hey, I'd go with it right here. I mean, we saw Hickel run the ball really well. I mean, Sam Smith, I mean, either one of those guys. But could you throw the Trojans off, go to Radabush or Yaden? Uh, there's a sneak, and there's a touchdown for Hickel. And cast him back on the board. Grant Hickel, three-yard touchdown run. Let's see if we can. Oh, watch, watch the guard. He just did that. He's an initial push and clean. Run up and hold him. kind of slowed back. Hickel was trying to push the rest of the guys all the way through. And if you get to the second level, it's too late when you're that close to the goal line. You got to be flying in there as linebackers trying to make a stop. 
So they're going to go for two here, 28 to 14. It's still a lot score. of ball game left yeah. here. Plenty of time. Especially if a turnover or a fumble or something yeah. gives them tons of time. Triton needs to get a good push here along the line. Going in motion. Goes Fakes back to Smith, to Smith, and he walks right in. Two-point conversion is good, and Casson draws it in closer, 28-16. to 16. If you're Casson now, you can't allow any more scores for the Trojan offense. you got to get them off the field fast, give your offense some time to work because they ate up a ton of time trying to get that touchdown. Sure, yeah, it ended on eight points, but you wasted a lot of time. you got two more touchdowns you need to get here. I think your Coach Porter down there, yeah, you're down 12 points, but at the same time, do you go and do you – attempt the onside kick because you get the ball you control the clock i mean trust your defense i mean i mean that's a little bit too risky with 10 18 to go but yeah. trying can move but trying's big thing is if they get the football you got to work that clock yeah the clock is your best friend right now you know we always talk about the clock being another defender <laughs> that's what the trojan need to do right here no, work that clock we just saw Cassidy eat up seven minutes mm-hmm. of seven plus two minutes nine minutes yeah. of the <laughs> clock there and court math <laughs> through two quarters. Caden math. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Look at Shows <laughs> off. Because he can do it without pausing. <laughs> Seven plus two, what is it? Uh, nine. I've been working on my flashcards. You know what, Kraft? <laughs> <laughs> I knew that once I got Why up here Why don't you run to the end zone somewhere so you can trip about the five, okay? <laughs> I'll call a Winnemac lineman uh, to come chase you down again. <laughs> I still wake oh, up dripping man. sweat nightmares about that. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Oh, my. I take my headset off and give it to Farrell. See, it's, it, it, it's that brother-like relationship <laughs> we've got up here that we can use. Oh, my. Nice thing is I don't even have to uh, partake. You don't have to because he's <laughs> – Let's get Kenny going now. We might as well just mute ourselves at that point. <laughs> <laughs> we should have a group broadcast. Get like twenty guys up here. That'd be pretty fun. Oh man, <laughs> you, you <laughs> ever talking over each other? There's a game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my! If you're, the, if you're this front line, be ready. Yeah, one's coming. See them all pointing at the ball. Yep. They know it's coming. They're gonna try and put it probably in between that first and second, second level. Make it awkward for who's trying to grab the ball. Born trigger the Limler pointing here on the near side, oh. and the ball falls over. <laughs> No, it's okay. It's got to go farther it's than okay. that. It's the, okay. The, the T is still in place. <laughs> We're good. Well, the wind be, is picking up a little bit. This will be Kasten's first time kicking with the wind. Yes. So maybe they try to boot it deep and pin the Trojans deep inside their own territory with everyone expecting an onside here. Nope. nope. Now it doesn't quite travel the way. As Trojans were uh, smart just to leave it alone. And – Oh, oh, and Bryles almost overshoots shouldn't, it. Shouldn't have done that. Yeah. <laughs> it worked out, but it should, probably shouldn't have done that. We got a flag on the play. I wonder if Kasten touched it. Yeah, it didn't go 10 yeah. yards. Gotcha. About eight. Pretty close. You know, Only two eight, off. Eight yeah. out of ten. That's, you know. <laughs> it's a B minus. That's a passing grade. Here. That's Someone a help. passing grade. That's all that matters. Help me out. <laughs> No flag. So they picked the flag up. I kind of wonder. I kind of question that. I didn't think a casting player touched it. I don't think so. So, hey, good starting field position for the Trojans, but, hey, you got to make this count. Got to yeah. make it count here. If you score, I don't want to say the game's necessarily over, but it would make it very, very tough for casting to come back. Hey, you're putting even more separation between the two of you. Mm-hmm. Trey Shoes back in the game in the backfield. Five yards deep, get him a nice run and start. Trey Shoe right there it goes and runs upfield, but I think we got a nice tackle by Hickel gets in there with Shane Lobb to bring him down. Picks up a couple yards to the 48, second and eight, or 46 yard line. Makes that the 47 yard line. So second down and eight now from the from the 46. And Caden was talking to me about how close these safeties play. I don't even <laughs> see a safety out there. Seven <laughs> is supposed to be the safety hickel. And Shoe gets Ryan. to the outside, rumbles right forward, and gets there. And we're going to get a block in the back, looks like, coming up here. Or a hold on the Trojans. I think he's going to be on. 
Cam Shively back there. An unfortunate penalty for the Trojans to move them back. It's the kind of thing you don't want to see on a drive like this. Yeah, don't shoot yourself in the foot. Yeah. And so the referees will walk it back here. They're going to get it right. Is his footsteps right with the markers this time? That looked like a long 10 <laughs> yards. <laughs> That's kind of what I thought. We're going to stop before the concession. Maybe he got hungry when we go to the concession stand. Just wants to get closer. Maybe has an order well, in. Well, I saw one of them in the bathroom <laughs> during <laughs> halftime. <laughs> I asked him about the false call or the far, false start missed yeah. call. He didn't answer me. Oh, uh, <laughs> wow. He's probably like, why the heck is this guy talking to me? <laughs> Shively gives it right back to Shu. He'll rumble up field and getting upended there. I think Schaefer in there on the tackle. Looks like Trey Shu is holding that ball a little gingerly there. Got to have a tighter hold on that in a close game like this. It's a four yard. Mm, close game, you don't want to risk a turnover. So, absolutely. Hold that ball with two hands if you have to. So, 8.48 to go here. Third and 15 from their own 46. As the clock continues to run. Shively takes the snap. Goes outside his shoe. Gets up through. Here comes Roundabush to bring him down. We got a flag on the play. Might get a hold coming here. And I think if you're cast, and you're probably going to decline that, bring up fourth down, make the Trojans punt it away. That's funny. And we'll see if Kasten's going to push him back, and they are not. Workman's coming in here. So yeah, punt team. Punt so, team. Yeah. And this one's kicking into the wind. So, I mean, the coverage team has got to be out there and getting down the field. Yeah, if you're Cole Shively, the punter here, what you're really trying to do is a low coffin corner punt. You want to aim this thing towards the sideline real low. That way the wind doesn't get involved with it. Some Pat McAfee point stuff here. Sound to the left sideline there. Shively gets it. Good punt. Right down the middle there. Might and get takes a, a snap. Takes a Triton roll back down inside about the 28, or excuse me, the 23 yard line. It looked like it was going to be better than that. Wind must have got it, maybe. Yeah. Wind must have got a hold of it. So, Casting, <laughs> chance to drive here. Two score game, but Eight still. Eight minutes. That lane coming out. He's a good D tackle in there. So the quickest Casting has scored in this one was. A two-minute drive when Hickel took it 62 yards. But that last drive, like we said, took nine minutes out of the clock. So the clock, <laughs> definitely not Kasten's friend yeah. right now. You've got to find that big playability. Although they still do have all three timeouts. So first and 10 now from their own 23. Right up the middle, Sam, Sam Smith. Smith. Right Josh Lemler, I think, there to clean it up. Right here, I think if you're trying and you're sitting there, don't get baited into those inside runs because they're going to open right up on the outside and take you take you down the field. Watch those halfback passes. That's some watching tape of these guys. They'll run, they'll run it up two or three times and they'll go outside when they need to. Oh, boy. <laughs> 7.40 to go here in the ball game. Second and seven now. So the three-yard carry by Smith. Here's roll Hickle right to pass. Looking Maybe. deep. Nope. He's going to pull it back. Evan Bryles in there initially and slows him down enough for the rest of the Trojans to get there to bring him down. Yeah. Cunningham in on another tackle. He's coming up and hitting. That's what you like to see from your alone safety. I'm not sure if Grant Hickel is actually even looking to pass. I don't, I mean, it doesn't look he like takes it does that it. drop step back, and he's just looking for that quickest lane to get upfield. We got a, unfortunately, we got a casting player down. I think uh, might be cramping a little bit. That's what it looks like from here. So I hope he's okay. He'll take an injury timeout. So he'll get some attention from the cast and F athletic trainer. This is a big down here. Third and four at your own 29. 
Casson has to find a way to move this ball for a first down. I think you're trying. You need to pay attention to those outside. I think this. I, I think you know they'll go up inside, but at the same time, you got to be ready for that outside stuff. And it's been inside, inside, inside. Right, All it takes right. is one time to be burned on a fake inside pitch. And, and, they, and, they, and they fake it really well. Yeah. That's why Amson and uh, Landon have to be playing contained best of their ability here. D'Angelo Holland out there as well. Yeah. And I think I think if you're those guys on the outside, don't get sucked in. Watch your guards like you guys have been saying all game. Well, Eric's right here on the sideline. I don't know why I need an announcement. A lot of time being taken. Like I said, I hope he's okay. And he's up. He is Back up. under his own power. It's good to see him get up. Possibly rolled ankle. Trying to stretch it back out. Walking a little gingerly. It's Dylan Gerhart, senior lineman. He contributed there as far as what he can do there on that left guard spot. And the clock will run. Third and four here. As Caden illustrated earlier, this is going to be a big third down. If you're the Triton sideline, you need to be talking right now, telling the players out on the field where the ball is going. And Goes easy. outside to Smith. He gets cup field and he gets enough for a first down and more. And I think he might got, might have got out of bounds. Yeah, Smith, he might player. have been tackled by his own player. Yeah, I there. think he ran over yeah. Garrison Hickel on the sideline, <laughs> tried to jump over top of him. End up kicking his feet out from underneath of him. <laughs> He's going for the hurdle, Sports Center. Oh, boy. First and 10 now coming up. I'm at the 37, 38 yard line. Smith picks up nine yards to the 38 yard line for the first down. As play went out of bounds, so the clock has stopped. 6.51 to go in the Noah Hurd now in the guard spot for Caston. Sam Smith. Didn't get much, maybe a yard. Second down coming up. No gain for Smith, second and 10. Riley Wood trying to fire up the home crowd. He's trying to get these student section, get these fans fired up. Got to get a stop here on this uh, drive. Put the game away. Second and 10, 6 10 and counting on the ball game. And that was not even I didn't quick sure that trip was up. <laughs> Sam Smith got the really ball somehow. So Limler slow to get up. Shewell, Anthony Shewell will check in now for Holland. Anthony was one after that South Central game I thought could be a defensive catalyst, but has really done more offense stuff. Riley Wood now trying to get him fired up here on third down and long. Looking to throw, yes, Hickel goes upfield. Man and got behind please. Cunningham as that pass was intended. Third on his feet on accident three. It was intended for Jaden Wilson. Too low. He was open. Because he had Cunningham beat. He had yeah. him by about a step behind him. And kind of had Cunningham kind of turn there, too. And now, fourth and nine. Mm. This is a big key play with five minutes to go in this ballgame. Kasten has ate up a lot of clock. and They don't have an option. The, they have to go for it. That's the opposite yeah. of what they wanted to do here. So here we go, fourth and nine from their own 39-yard line, 5.25 to go. Hickel rolls right, keeps the ball looking downfield, goes up high and gets it knocked away and oh caught. Oh wow, there, who was that? 20. That was Evan Howard. Oh, watch it right here. Watch Evan Howard at the top of your screen. He'll cut up field. He'll throw it. And Howard was out of bounds and came back in and caught it. He was just out of bounds. You kind of saw him track back in on the replay. What the?
hat thing means for those who don't know. When a player steps out of bounds, the referee then has to throw their hat out because they can't be the first person to touch that ball again. I think it went off of Jaden Wilson, I think. It looked like been the guy down low, and they're gonna, it's going to be a turnover on downs. Riley Wood. I think that's the correct decision watching that replay. Long discussion as they point. They just need to come up here and put on these headsets and look at the <laughs> replay center here. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be like glad to run my phone down there. <laughs> feel like NFL. Anyway. Josh Lindler, home crowd. Because that was tipped, and he was out of bounds and came back in. And I don't think anybody else tipped it before he caught it. It, didn't it went right back to him. Yeah. That's the only thing I think they're discussing. Yeah. Is this, did, did anybody somebody else touch someone it? else touch it? I didn't see anybody, but illegal touching, and they're going to call on Caston. Illegal touching. Nope. Coming a little closer. <laughs> He's trying to get some clarification, and that'll move him back. Oh, coming over to tell coach. Isn't there a rule like that in basketball too? You got to reestablish yourself in basketball or something? Yeah, that's yeah. a good question. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he knows imagine. everything. I mean, he's right. the Tony I Romo. I, I mean, they, they, you got to challenge him. So I'm move him back. Oh, my. That's a they, – really? That is a massive penalty. And Will Porter calls a timeout for Caston. Wow, a 15-yard penalty there. I thought that was a five-yarder. Yeah. I wouldn't have said more than 10, but five sounds right to me. So here we go. So we've got a timeout here. Usually those procedural type timeout. penalties are only five yards. And Oh, well. Well, that's a big one. Don't touch it. Don't touch it after you come out of bounds. Yeah. Don't do it. They <laughs> get mad about that one. Let someone else touch <laughs> it first. I mean, heck of a play. He was able to catch the ball. I mean, that's still impressive to catch it off of. <laughs> well, that was pretty impressive. Off of the, uh, Caught all of us off guard. We were like, what the heck? Yeah. I want to thank mm, – the volleyball specialist for her donation. Yeah, she's yeah. See, she took, oh. took a page out of your book there. Yeah. Couldn't get her to put a headset on today, but we but did our best. We, we, we tried. However, she did make up for it by helping with donuts. I mean, she did I'm, just, I'm, I'm just saying I we had donuts. About these donuts, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, you should have came to the game. Hey, hey, I was on tech support. You was on tech support. <laughs> okay. Remote tech support. No better place for tech support than right there. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, you got donuts right there. You don't have to talk. You get to watch me trying to figure out how to put the score, and I had to call Ryan because I'm like, how do I do it? I told him, I said, I got it. I got it. I was, First set ends, I'm like, nope, don't got it. He was, he was just about ready to get the text, and then finally I seen it update. I was like, oh, he got it. So okay. fourth and 24 from their own 24 as Hickel under center. Might as well call it fourth and a mile here. Rolling deep, here comes the pressure. Hickel is still on his feet, looking downfield, keeps oh, it himself. Shoe reaches up and knocks him down, and that'll be a turnover on downs. And Trine will take over and cast in territory. You would think, man, take a shot there, just throw it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're not probably going to get it with your legs there. At the same time, though, you throw the ball, it's going to go back to the – if it's yeah. incomplete, it's like the line of scrimmage yeah. there. But at the same time, you got up the field a little bit, put a little more pressure on Trine. I mean, that, that might be yeah. my thing That's as a quarterback, true, yeah. pull it down. Gained 11 yards there yeah. as opposed to an incompletion. But, hey, you might never know about maybe a possible 35-yard ca 35 catch down the field. So yeah. I don't know. You always got to play that uh, what-if game. But I think a good move there by Hickel to pull it down and run it, to push Triton back a little bit, put a little pressure on that offense. So 5.06 remaining in the ballgame. First and 10 from the Casson 35-yard line as Shively goes under center. Goes right to Anthony Shue here on the near side. Good blocking by Shively. Go and Shue still on his feet. Shue cuts back in, spins inside, and still on his feet inside the 20-yard line. Good awareness to not go to you, you talk about his patient running. His awareness is another th just key attribute of how good of a runner he really is. Knowing where the chains are at and say, hey, you know, I need the clock to run. Mm -hmm. Get turn, turn, spun back infield. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's some guys on Sundays that can't realize to turn back infield when the clock's running. I'm just saying. Yeah, no kidding. 
may or may not happen a couple different times when I watch, but we'll go with it. Up the gut to Shoe, to Trace Shoe, and he'll rumble forward. A couple of yards there. Four or five. Oh, the clock will five run. yards. 420 to go in the ball game. Second down Six coming up. casting has got three timeouts, and they're not electing to use them on any on these runs. Maybe the last one makes sense because he got 20 some yards. Yeah. But right there, you would think they'd call a timeout. So 405 and counting. It's Triton takes their time to the line. Plenty of time. Ten, nine seconds on the play clock. Shively. Takes a snap, goes to Trey Shoe. Shoe rumbles forward, and that's going to be close to a first down. And that's one thing you just love about watching Trey Shoe play football. You know, you he gets hit there initially at the line, but he still finds a way to get four, five yards. And it looked like Anthony could have been called for a false start there. I mean, he's kind of leaning forward four as soon as that ball was snapped. I think Kane chain lob a little shaken up there, holding his arm. I think Cole Shively might have surprised him because there's still five seconds on the game. Or yeah play clock there, so he thought maybe he was going to waste a couple more seconds. So third the clock at 10. Third and one from the nine here. Triton's a no rush. Mm -mm. No need to be. One more nope. snaps. Shive the quarterback keeper, and he rumbles forward. Shively gets all the way up past the, five, the five yard line. That's how you operate a quarterback sneak, I suppose. That's I'm starting very to learn nice. six yards well, on that one. Learning from casting. Not very often do you see six quarterback sneaks in one game. <laughs> <laughs> and you thought one was not even intentional. Uh, but I'm, I'm, yep. Add that one to the board. So first and goal now. Triton knocking on the door. Shively. Goes right back to Trey Shue, and the diesel rumbles forward for Paydirt, and Triton strikes again. His first touchdown of the season right there. <laughs> Watch him go right here. It's one about Trey Shue. Downhill running. He's gone. Uh, Just very good at that. Good, good hole right there. Yeah, he almost went in the wrong touch. His brother picked up a good block, and Trent Conley made a way to push the D tackle out of the way there. Shively a chance to kick again. And he'll drive that kick. It looks it. good from here. And it is 35 to 16 with two minutes and 32 seconds left in the ball game. Triton looking for their first conference win of the season. Like I said, they'll have. Yep, this casting game here, and then uh, back here again for Bremen next Friday night, and then uh, travel away there to Culver and Pioneer. Both of those, watch TritonTrojans.org, see status if we'll actually broadcast those or not. And then we'll wrap up the home October 1st, North Judson, then away at uh, Knox and Winnemac, and then uh, find out that draw for that good sectional. And that's a loaded final four games with Pioneer, Judson, Knox, and Winnemac these Trojans. I mean, yeah, I mean, a couple of these teams might be down a little bit this year, but Judson and Winnemac. I'm telling you what, Winnemac, the heavy favorites right now to win the conference. Mm -hmm. I don't see anybody knocking off Winnemac this year. I mean, they just, they're sound just about everywhere. They can do about everything they need to, and <laughs> that's all you can really ask out of a high school program. And they beat Manchester this week, 35-18. Judson beat North Newton, 34-12. Bremen lost to Mishawaka Marion. Some of them are here supporting. Uh, 48 to 6, and uh, Warsaw um, beat Plymouth 43 14. That was kind of a fun game to watch. My alma mater, I, 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 got, I got to watch. I mean, just to hear Roger Grossman, I mean, was my mentor in high school. Just to hear him call a game was fun to get to see. I don't get to do that very often on Friday nights yeah. anymore. And Southwood, sectional opponent, beat North Miami 34 6. Terrabusco, another one, 42 to 8 or 19 over Garrett. So Shively to kick it here. Line drive kick. Oh, tipped by tipped. Schaefer. Smith has got to run it down. Still on his feet. Goes back up field. Gets some blocks. Smith gets up through there. I think Irvine initially made contact. Yes, I think it's Irvine. Now that they're all starting to wear sleeves. That, now, one, uh, that yeah. one was Snyder. That one was Snyder. See, like I'm telling you, they all wear a sleeve. 
They don't wear a sleeve the first week, then they one wears it, and then everybody starts wearing it. And then it's like, well, I haven't figured out with what gear they wear. And now, you know, across the field, at least it's a little easier to see in an afternoon game than it is at night. And at least the numbers show up now. Yes. And Shout I out to the coaching staff there. I, I, I love the uniforms. Forgot right. to mention an important one. Pioneer beat LaVille 12-7. to seven. That's the last one I got. So and that one's important. So. A big important, yeah, exactly. Uh, everyone thought that LaVille could possibly knock off Pioneer this year, and they, they were up 7-0, I think, early, but they ended up losing that one. Hickel under center, rolls right, looking downfield. Throws it here to Yaden, and I think that one might be, is it caught? Complete. And it is. Nice job by Yaden to get a hold of that one. As Kasson's going to have to hit the gas here these final two minutes to go in the football game. And they still got all their timeouts, too. <laughs> yeah, both teams. And did Anthony get off the field? They're going to say he did. Hickel rolls right, keeps it himself, going to try to go out of bounds, and I think he'll get it. Got the first. Did he get out of bounds before he got tackled, though? I don't know. All right, he did. So inside two minutes, clock will stop. Picks up three yards to the 38. Can't let any big plays happen here. That's the main thing. Heckle now drops back, rolls right again, throws up field to Sullivan just off his oh, fingertips. Oh, man. Good pass. And I don't want to tell everybody, this casting team is a pretty good football team. These guys here do. See what they're here. I look out. That was a good ball. Just off the fingertips. Hell, his hands. Good defense there. by Sectional 41, so they're not won't be in our sectional anymore. So the big thing I learned last night or the other night was there's no Hoosier North teams in our sectional anymore. Mm -mm. That's so weird. And Casson is in a loaded sectional in that 41 there with Winnemac. Look at McLean Middle bust through that line and almost get to Hickel. And we got a flag here in the backfield. Another first down. Out of bounds, but let's yeah, let's see what this penalty flag is about. I'm not it's sure it might have been some of the McLean mid off. It's going to be moving backwards here. It's oh, helmet to helmet contact against South, or excuse me, against Caston. I was getting ready to say that's why I said South Central. Was there in there with South Newton, Caston, Winnemac, Lake Station, South Central, Culver, and West Central all in that sectional 41. That's that's going to be a tough one. Yeah. If I remember right, and everybody that could be in our sectional is all east of 30. Yep. And we're used An to where's to Anderson Prep Academy? I couldn't tell you on that one. But, yeah, we're so used to all – we're always heading west, maybe south. Going back into for, my territory. For all of our time. So, yeah, we, we're not used to heading east. Oh, my territory for a little bit longer, not much longer. <laughs> it's a little weird to me because when I was in high school, it was basically – our sectional was just like a conference yeah, tournament at the end of the year. I mean, it was everyone in our conference but Knox, basically. <laughs> So second and 25 following that penalty. A minute 40 to go. Sickle in the comments looking just to move the ball to get some confidence here. Screen pass goes right Drop. to Yaden and dropped it. Man, you see uh, Sam Smith pushing McLean back there. Yeah, man, that kid is strong. He pushed him back about five yards there. Let me tell you, McLean Middall is a tough dude too. Yeah. I mean, he's a strong guy too. And then a half here, third and 25. Got a long way to go. Castle's going to need a big play and then another big play and maybe a third big play. <laughs> well, I'm thinking maybe that, ha that halfback pass. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even stay with a straight face anymore. Hickel drops back, rolling left. Now here comes Evan Bryles. Oh, Evan's got him. And Evan Bryles wraps him up. Lindler in there to make sure he would help out, but Evan Bryles using those long arms. And he does this when he gets through the line. And Cass hey, fooled me for a second, you yeah. Cass is going to use their first of three timeouts with a minute 16 remaining on a fourth and 33 coming up. Oh, my. Would you say the name of that school was Anderson? Anderson Prep Academy. 
threw me off. Anderson, Indiana. Whoa. 87 miles away. Now, how was that <laughs> in the sectional? <laughs> well, where'd you guys? Whoa. Where'd you guys? Go? South Adams last year. Oh, uh, went to Adams, Adams Central. Central. Adams Central. Adams Central. That was a pretty big haul. That was the man van. We all went. Is that down near Indy? Oh no, that's that's no. for that's towards Fort Maybe Wayne. Yeah. Well, yeah, Anderson. You just as well say, just outside of Indianapolis. Oh, maybe I'll meet you guys there. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We did that on Caden. You just come right on up, buddy. Oh, wow. When I saw that, I was kind of hoping maybe that means they're like Huntington or somewhere over nearby over there. Maybe, but yeah, I was worried when I saw that the other day. But, you know, we've had we've been fortunate to have two yeah. sectional games at home to start off, but I think third time we're going to be away for this one. <laughs> The draw's not here yet, but I've got yeah, a funny yeah. feeling. Man, we got a good sectional too, man. Yeah, and it's a tough Adam sectional. Central and Southwood. Busco's normally pretty good, and Southwood's good. Southwood likes to throw the ball, don't they? Yep. They lost their They're quarterback, their senior yeah. quarterback last uh, season graduated. That one goes off of Landon Lindler. So I'm hitting him in the back there. Looks like they were trying to do a hook and ladder. Uh, Had a halfback running on a swing route, and the wide receiver ran a curl. But like I said, and pitch. this casting team, you got to give them a hand. These guys were battled hard. You know, they, they played a tough Judson team a week ago. And coming in here and trying, you know, with the emotions were high coming into this one, you know, to see them get the win in, in this situation is huge. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, you got to give casting some props. You know, they they're, um, was very accommodating for what we had to deal with today. As a student section fired up. Victory formation here for the Trojans. We'll have to and do that one more time. As Triton will improve to 2-1 and one on the season, welcome in Bremen next week. Kasten. i turn my page here. Kasten will be hosting Pioneer next week. Start a two-game homestand for them. And Triton, that's the third home game. One more after that one. We saw Kenny throw up the graphic there a little while ago. And this is a very good win against a very good casting team. So, And like this, I said, don't. This is one of the stronger casting teams yeah, I've seen in recent say memory. We beat casting and like throw it off to the side. This is a good casting team. No, and, I, and, like, I, and like I said, do not not circle these guys on your on yeah. this casting team on your schedule. These, these are a tough group, well coached. Give them a hand, and the Trojans. Improve to two and one on the season as the final moments tick away. They played their hearts out. Did that earlier too. Yeah, I, don't, I think it gets under that, and I don't think it reads the uh, file quick enough. But we can just do this, and we know what the final outcome is going to be. So Anthony Shu got found Peter a couple times. Tyler Anderson got scored the opening touchdown. Kurt recovered two fumbles and one pass breakup. As they'll hand the game ball off. Both teams congratulate. A lot of big plays here. Triton got up early there in that first quarter and never looked never back. Never looked back. It started out hot, 14 to nothing, before Caston was able to score. They just never let their foot off the gas pedal after that. So with that being said, we're going to hang it up here. Caden, it's good to have you back, and we'll have him back on remote support next week. So that being said, we're back here on the Trojan Tundra next Friday, next Friday night. I'm Andrew Harris for Caden Atkins, Trenton Kreft, Kenny Barnhart, and the Hall of Famer, Ryan Limler. Until next time, Trojan fans, remember the Trojan way. <laughs>